and uh, we are opening our uh, all weekly brawl number 14 here with glycerin glycerin hello everyone oh wait hey nice nice to see you again um so uh there's been a change of rule since the last brawl uh now the round will be on uh, in bo5 with a ban so it adds some um, deepness to the to the picks because basically you have to bring four classes now and you can ban one so it's generally like the best setup for a competitive tournament I'm pretty happy we have that now. Uh, there will be less round two, so the, ca the stream won't be longer than the previous weeks. Exactly, so. Uh, and now we are going to see the ma match versus uh, the guy with the long nickname, which I can't pronounce very fast because of uh, games loading. And uh, Satyrus. Yeah. So it's panelist <coughs> panelist 24 uh, with Sage Risk, which we have seen already before. So just a quick glance at the um, uh, at their classes. So panelist is running uh, Paladin, Priest, Warrior, and Mage, and his warrior has been banned. While Sage Risk is running Warrior, Druid, and Warlock, and Mage, and his Warlock has been banned. So, well, let's so, see how it works. Yeah, we can see why um, Panelist Warrior has been banned. Um, Satris is running Freeze Mage. Oh, you already so, said yeah. so that seems like a sensible ban. Um, he's oh, could also mean that his own warrior is patron. All right, he just so. gives up the Talnus. Yeah, uh, oh. he's playing Talnus to get uh, to cycle. Talnus isn't vital in that matchup. Yeah, and you. Really want to get your Nova and Doomsayer, uh, and since you're probably playing against Secret Paladin here, a good thing that um, it doesn't seem like one yet. Uh, yeah, it could be a mid-range one. I can't be sure for now. Well, uh, I run all of these cards, maybe beside the Spider in my deck, but. Probably I'm not the only one. Maybe yeah. I am there. So, Satris is able to gain a lot of value out of his um, Aggregate of Pain, drawing yeah. three cards out of it is quite huge. Absolutely. Um, I'm not really a fan <coughs> of uh, Panelist's uh, play of Kogammer. He could have played uh, coined his Ultiman to uh, kill the, uh, the Acolyte to prevent uh, Freeze Mage from drawing a lot out of it. Especially. Yeah. Since he had a, another fall drop to play after that, so that Kargama seems a bit weak. Don't think it was Nova Dooms. Oh yeah, we're probably going to see Nova Dooms here, here mostly because uh, Satris got uh, Emperor in his hand. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Emperor, Emperor will be huge. Um, yeah. Just uh, recollecting that he drawn a lot of cards from Acolyte, yeah. and now he's just clear clearing the board with the zero seven. Don't yeah, the only issue is <laughs> that he drew four of his secrets. So, uh, sure, uh, having Emperor and uh, Archmage is good, but you generally also want him to uh, prop on your Frostbolt and Icelands. Here, it's really painful because now if he draws a uh, Mad Scientist, it will be only a two two. And uh, gaining cost reduction on secrets isn't that good. But anyways, uh, you have uh, nine mana plus now. Nine, yeah, sure. Nine mana bores, but you're right. Well, on another hand, what he can uh, play if he is not playing the Taurison? If it's not Taurison, what? No, no, he. Play? It was a really good, uh, good moment played, and uh, the issue is that. The story on itself doesn't give him like as much value as you'd want. Yes. Uh, I don't like that Lucid because it's not protecting a good board. It's not uh, slowing the mage too much. I can agree on it. Uh, but this also the play of uh, like towers and we just had. You just have to play it because nothing else. Yeah. Now, like Lucip is a uh, secret paladin winning con win, win condition. Absolutely. Oh. All right, there is the secret. This yeah, the one. Oh, and Man on Horrors. Yep, but 
Satyr's got like uh, two blizzards on his hand that can really slow down the spell, then you also got Anextraza and a Pure Power Blast. Yeah. You could safely play Anextraza, not get Pop this turn. And then just Blizzard, uh, play his Ice Block just to be safe, and another Ice Buyer, and basically just stall until he, until he gets his burn. Like, yeah. uh, you can actually. Now he's gonna advantage you, Cleonex, which is. That's, that will be so painful for him, I guess. Yeah. But I think that's a play because you're scared that if you play your mysteries, like Alex was like going to go face once, mm -hmm. then well, sure she'll be stopped by the first normal sacrifice. But if it's a freeze mage freeze board again, what are you gonna do? You're gonna take eight free damage on the face. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, when the time will come, he will draw at uh, two um, frost bolts and uh, will have double fireball out of them anyway with his Antonidas in hand. So here you basically know there's a noble sacrifice in the bench. You don't necessarily know which secret is last. You can bet on the company spirit, but you can't be sure. Uh, it was I think it was testing for uh, redemption. Yeah. That's why he didn't pop the shredder. But that's Oh, it's just of pain. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That just has no compare comparison, I guess. Yeah, and he has. He's good. He will be able to heal a lot thanks to her. That's a huge shred drop. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's just yeah. a huge value out of uh, shredder. No random in this game at all. No, absolutely. That's very very skill based game. Okay. Yeah. On the other hand, Blizzard will be able to prevent the Paladin from uh, gaining a few HP here uh, next turn, but... Uh, the just game slipped away from the Sirtzer's hand, just slipped yeah. away. And he it's... also has the anti kill bot, something what you usually don't see on uh, on the yeah, list of actually... Prism Mage. No, it's actually quite standard, actually. Yeah, yeah it was Not standard, sure. I would say. Nowadays, people just remove it from lists. Uh, nope. Or oh, you have another opinion on it? I disagree because, uh, yes, it's removed in the Torch version. I think the classic Freeze Mage is still around it. Maybe, sure, not everybody's friends it, but oh, I think yeah. it's still pretty standard. Yeah, on classic one, uh, exactly. Right. Frost, the Frostbolt are quite a good pick, uh, to be honest, because they allow him to have some burst now. Uh, with Antonidas, he could easily, for example, uh, uh, yeah, such redemption is gonna be. You also need to stay alive, though. Yeah, and uh, I think Panis might have lethal. I think he does have lethal, but he can't know. He can't know that the uh, Matter his won't bring any. Yeah, I like that order. I think he should consecrate here. Oh, uh, that's just to increase odds or something. Uh, oh, actually, just in case, like, um, if your opponent gets Ice Barrier. Yeah. Out of scientists, he would have had lethal for sure. Um, like that's here, here, imagine Satris gets ice barrier. Yes. He he get he doesn't die. Uh, yeah. If he consecrate first, uh, then use the pings to ki to try to kill Satris. Yes. If it's ice barrier, uh, he's not gonna. Uh, it's not going to pop out. Yeah. That's right. I might have miscalculated because he needed uh, damage from the weapons. So. Yeah. Could but still, that will, that will be enough. He uh, could was, he, uh, hero power next turn or something. Yeah, but that was really fortunate. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, Boundless has taken the wrong deck. Uh, wait, what? Yeah. There's... Wait, oh, uh, no. Yeah, I, I think that... Yeah, uh, Satris is not a you should know that it's Conquest, so... Uh, that should be a. a, a, a I mean. Sh I don't know what it should be. Yeah, he's asking me now, but I'm not exactly.
What do you do? Uh, <laughs> actually, he's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I was one. talking to him because he asked me. But I'm not an admin, so that was. Uh. I was talking to him uh, too. <laughs> so. So yeah, uh, <laughs> that's unfortunate for the panelists. That's why you really need to check the rules. Mm, yeah, uh, seriously. Uh, playing in a tournament. That's really important. Uh, sometimes you like to make a mistake. It doesn't happen to me like I, I chose the same deck because I misclick or something. And that generally gives a win to your opponent. Not for the whole round, but uh, just for uh, the duel in question. Or sometimes you are switch. you're playing in a tournament in last year's standing, then in conquest. Oh yeah. I also support that argument. Yeah. So. So we're waiting for them and. Uh, yep. They should start. They should go. start. They do start. Yeah. Straightening, straightening things up between them. Mm -hmm. Oh, now we oh, see Priest. I haven't taken the death win. Okay. Deathwing? That's his right. Have you seen Deathwing yet? No, uh, Death. Uh, normally, if your opponent makes such a misplay, you can basically say that your freeze mage, like, your opening freeze mage and your opponent uh, takes the same deck. Mm -hmm. So he's, um, he's not following the rules. Um, you can basically say that you've won the game with your freeze mage because yeah. of that. But okay. there is. Um, through hard in the hand of uh, Operas, so that yeah. matchup will be tough uh, for uh, it's Staters. A control Priest versus Freeze Mage is generally highly favored for uh, the Mage. On the other hand, it's Dragon Priest. Yeah. Uh, meaning that Dragon Priest is able to. Well, it's, it's able to provide quite a lot of pressure on the board. Absolutely. Um, however, we're making things like Flame Strike basically much less viable. Uh, the issue. However, for um, for the priest, that he probably doesn't run cards like flash shield, mm -hmm. which are lifesaver than magic. So I like how he made sure that he his dragon will survive and buff him. Yeah, that's a lot of good idea. I also like going face here because you're trying to apply pressure to your opponent. Yeah, and otherwise you that, won't win. You don't want to kill him at 90 too early because uh, maybe his mage will draw a secret, so that increases his hold of drawing. Uh, oh, yeah, battle. and here's the zero silent comes. I not say, yeah, that's interesting. Mm, yeah, he denies the draw from uh, Acolyte, though. Yeah, but on the other hand, it really slows down the priest in his track, prevents him from playing a, a Twilight Guardian mm. or Drake. Yeah. He's loose. Also, he draws the secret from the deck, which speeds him up. Absolutely. Double fireball. Mm, uh, like... That's not a very good top deck, though. It's okay. okay. I mean, now you got the annex, you got part of the burst. Oh, no. Uh, I don't like playing against Elise here. Now, what would you have like? played? At least on curve. You don't actually. Elise is actually bad. Yeah. Because uh, that means that at some point you'll draw the map, and the map is absolutely useless in, in that matchup. So absolutely. Well, uh, it can give you a draw. That's it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, on the other hand, you would you would have drawn the card there, so you have to actually spend two, two mana to draw that card. Yeah. And what? Oh. And actually, it, we missed the fact that Taurison was top deck on turn six. So. Yeah, and the, the priest top deck Shadow of Death and chose not to kill Taurison. That is. That's... Huge. That's over. This game is over. That's over, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Confirm. I, 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 I mean, <laughs> the mage will already be able to put the priest at 8 HP next turn. With Alex Traza, Bolt, and. And no. what? He can put next turn, he can play Alex Traza, Frost Bolt, and Ice and Face. And yeah. then play Double Fireball. That's game over. All right. Two ticks from Thoris, and he's huge. Yeah, absolutely. So, how much mana did he uh, obtain out of it? 
Uh, well, mm -hmm. about well, twelve. About twelve. That's right. Yeah. That would be correct. Uh, yeah, twelve. One for Blizzard, one for Bolton. Yes. I mean, well, no, no, no eleven. Eleven because only one for Isens. Yes, absolutely. And he's still not killing the Sorison. Ah, that is... looks like a mis mistake, I guess. Ah, that is a huge mistake. Yeah. Uh, so, actually, I w I would just frost over here. Absolutely. Because you can OTK your opponent next turn. Oh, OT oh yeah, you can OTK, but Tyrus doesn't see it. Just goes now. Oh, I mean, that's fine too. You you're gonna... <laughs> you, you should be okay. Uh, well, he, your uh, opponent has 19 health. Yeah. That's it. You should have played Frost now. That's it. But 19 health, 19 health. So, next turn, Sage Freeze will be able to deal it. Oh, right, yeah, damage. that's lethal. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's lethal for sure. Um, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, one team. Yeah. Well, panelist is really. Yeah, that's like. Yeah, that's more like than that. you yeah. need to. Oh, Talnas, just to BM. <laughs> okay, is... Talnas, yeah, that's yeah. huge. That is quite the overkill. Uh, unfortunately, he won't just get value out of uh, uh, his uh, Icelands. <laughs> and a BM. And a slight BM. Yeah, oh. No, I would go for face. I'm like, oh, sorry, mistakes were made. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that, that's that, not that, slight that BM, is... man. That's just. And then he's gonna BM. frostbolt his own face. Oh no. Never mind. Oh. So, uh, question is your win for Sagris here. I'd say that uh, Sandy Penlis has made a huge misplays in that game. Not killing Florison was. Not killing Thorison. Playing Elise like was already a slight misplay, but not killing Thorison was yeah. game losing. Maybe he just like alright I have a turn five or a turn six play and he just uh, automatically pulled out the uh, Belcher out of it, regardless to the top deck. Maybe. I don't know, like that seems <laughs> So one one for now. Yep. And they oh. have uh, third game coming in. Exactly. So it's uh, apparently still has uh, the priest of sin and a mage, while Citrus has druid and warrior. Mm -hmm. So if Panelist is running for his mage, he's in a lot of trouble because warrior and druid are a really awful matchup for freeze mage. Now so given his wait, uh, what? This priest has holy fire. Yeah, it's it's an unusual priest. Like we've seen Chromagus, Nefarin. No, oh, that's not a really good hand for the druid. So. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's uh, that's like really bad. Worst hand ever, I guess. Oh well, priests. But and the issue for druid is that even though he's facing maybe a slower version of priest, uh, priest can be very slowly if it gets a board. And right now, druid is in no way of, of and, denying that from the priest. Yeah, you have oh, to swipe priest. or something. But yeah. that's it. Uh Sadly, he doesn't have a dragon, so... Yeah, so you just I pass. Think... Yeah. Eh? Yeah, you do that. Keep of the Grove is a pretty decent pickup. Uh, but he needs some... He... Heat up, some growth, yeah. some inner weight, something. He really needed a mana acceleration, like Wild Grove, uh, to play... Uh... Yeah, I think here you play the yeah. Technician. Even though he didn't have a dragon, still a 2-4. Uh, though, it's actually... <laughs> If your opponents play Shredder next turn, you are actually very sad. Yeah, you are behind so far. That yeah, you but can't not see playing it doesn't really put you ahead, and it's got a huge end with high, high, with a lot of uh, high spots. Yeah, spots. but at least uh, you open the probability of buffing your creature. Yeah. And maybe drawing something out of it. That's true. Well, <laughs> right now, both players are playing a, a game of hero power. He just likes a warrior mirror, to be honest. Yeah. And uh, he draws a dragon. Finally. Uh, that's, things are getting a bit more interesting. He can he could... play two minions now, yeah. Yeah, he could. And, and then follow up with a uh, character. I don't know why. He... I mean, if you're playing one, you're gonna have to play the Black Moon Technician. You might want to keep the coin for uh, turn six boom. Yeah. Mm. coming in uh, really far too late. But. Uh, no, I think he should have played the Black Moon Technician because if this druid is going to play, uh, for example, a uh, Druid of the Claw, mm -hmm. well, 
you'll still have the reward of for trading, and you can actually kill it with a uh, corruptor. Well, with a two four, you can't kill it, and you're gonna drugs or what? 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 <laughs> that is. Stop this first. I'm going to quit. <laughs> that is really greedy. <laughs> On the other hand, you should be able to play probably Doctor Boom next turn, and oh well. Uh, <laughs> it's actually might be hard for the druid, depending on his draws, because he's got two fours of nature, which aren't that good for now. He's probably can, gonna play swipe next turn. OTK somehow, maybe. He's really need. Oh, Shredder is a huge pickup, because he can swipe Innovate Shredder. Oh, yeah. That's. But that's also good. giving up your inner weight is not a good sign. It's here. fine. You don't, you're, you'll be on 7. You don't need to innovate that much for now. It's okay. No, I would love to see double combo. <laughs> Boom is gonna be quite big here. Or or it's Trog. No, it's not Trog. Trog's a war, yeah, but Trog is still weak to you if you got. This oh. hand full of legendaries, oh my goodness. Absolutely. And Losep is, is gonna have to get. Sagerist <laughs> might get to see his Losep killed by a very. A card that you don't see that often. Rand's Black Hand. 8-4, yeah. if you have a legend, yeah. uh, dragon hand, destroy legendary. I'll just actually, show up that card. Yeah. It's actually really good against low step because a priest uh, can't kill a low step normally. It's turn it's played unless the 8 mana shadow with this. I don't oh, think yeah. he will play low step because I'd say that trading, a swipe and mounted rapture might be the most efficient play. Mm -hmm. And here's giving, giving up of the second swipe though. Uh, oh, right. only face. Even if it was seven, it's bad for the priest. Yeah, yeah you, you you want the boom? You want the? Uh, oh no! I think I think you played the uh, three and four drops here. Yeah. yeah. Not not strong though. They're very strong, very resilient against street. And you've seen two two swipes. So. Yeah, but silence is also on the way. Yeah, but silence doesn't achieve that much because it will only put the dragon to two six. Would Which you can deal with uh, the two mediums of water. Would you consider playing uh, Force of Nature now? Uh, so you kill the 3 6, but you can't do anything else. Well, you uh, can clear the yeah, board and have yourself a first drop. Well, you, you got the one Force of Nature that you won't use, so why not? Uh, or. Uh, or, or. Yeah, uh, with Roar. Actually, Roar is quite good because you clear the board. You still get a uh, Raptor or a spawn, and you can play low sep or a Shredder. It's pretty decent. Well, but if, you oh, yeah. Shre if you play low sep, it's gonna be for a really bad surprise. Oh <laughs> yeah, that that's or look at that. Oh my, rent value. Run, yeah. don't no. We are the true hold. Yeah, oh, I played no. quite, I, I played Dragon Warrior during uh, one TG got released. Yeah. Uh, so you all you know every, every replica of the every creature which uh, is in yeah. that deck, right? Uh, well, uh, yeah. I don't think I've reached like two top two hundred with it. All right. That's my list. May That's I ask you a question? Yeah. What uh, shield bearer says when he attacks? Uh, what? That zero seven unit. Oh, oh, sorry. Zero four unit. Doomsayer. A no. zero four? What? No, no, ah, no. shield bearer. Yeah, shield bearer. That's what I said. Uh, Doomsayer does not attack uh, other. I, 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 I thought you said the uh, shield maiden. No. Uh, yeah, actually, Doomsayer. I knew it. No, I don't know what shield bearer says. No. But... Does uh, Doomsayer says uh, I knew it even when he attacks? No, he said uh, he says something else. I don't yeah. recall. Oh, Chris going face. Yeah. Why not? What? No, what it's is. an 8 4. <laughs> oh, BJ is pretty good. Oh, no. But I think that was. I mean, you got all the value in the hand, why take any risks? Uh, a light bomb is gonna be stronger. Oh, yeah, but maybe you want to put uh, Sylvanas first, no? Or are you too afraid of dying oh. to combo? Uh, you're too afraid of dying to combo. Oh, no. Look at That's... that. Yeah, well, it's okay. Priest only mostly has minion in his hand. And then now we've seen the. Uh, Drogzor will come and say, Son, come here. And 
the period of the groove. Of the groove, yeah. Yeah, exactly of the groove. Uh, goes into Starfall. That's <laughs> Uh, so, Freeze might be afraid of combo, but there's nothing you can read. Ah, uh, wait. If you Light Bond... Uh, actually, if you Light Bond, it kills the Trog, but... Eh. Do you play... Do you play it? Uh, I'd almost play Nefarian, to be honest. Mm, I would go or with... Sylvanas is pretty good if you want to mm. Light Bond next turn. Uh, yeah. you, 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 you can basically just board or something, maybe. I would go with Hramagos and draw. Yeah. Too slow. You you need something that like Nefarian that is something or at least Sylvanas. But Nefarian can't give you. Oh wait, what he's doing? Oh, I think he's going to make a misplay. Yeah. Oh no, he doesn't yeah. know that uh, Throg yeah, buffs first doesn't. and. <laughs> oh no. Uh, so it's fourteen plus. And Ancient of War is wrong. Oh yeah. Uh, I think we'll see. We might see uh, Shadow of Death and. Uh, oh, Boom's a Yeah. You just draw. Yeah, yeah. you draw, obviously. Huh? Yeah. Wait, well, you are two cards ahead of your opponent. That's not the position you always want to be, but I guess here you can draw. I think we're gonna see so Shadow of Death and Isaac Trogs or, or Sipanus. Mm, I would go with Trogs, though. Yeah, probably. Yep. Boom is pretty good here, but there's a another shadow with death. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, Angel of War is over. You really another good one, it. yeah. I guess you draw again. Oh no. Yeah. Or, or boom. Ah, uh, you do. Yeah, you played. Copy. Yeah, you just boom. Uh, although you've seen one shadow with death and two light bombs, you might not be afraid of second shadow with death. Yeah, you uh, know it's not the and, card they put in double. Yeah, Doctor Moon challenge Trogzor, but I think you want to draw. Uh, maybe see if he has another removal. Uh, get your Savage Roar and then play Moon. Yeah, yeah Moon is okay. better. Savage Roar does not give you a window. Uh, right now it does. <laughs> oh yeah, right now it works, but without the Boom, what are you gonna say? Uh, even like on that board, it gives you a win. I yeah. think. Yeah, oh, exactly so. Oh yeah, probably. It's exactly Savage Roar is exactly so. Okay, it's well. Wait, that's well, a misplay, right? Uh, no, I actually prefer it because it. As I said earlier, you don't want to draw your come map right now. All right, that's, that's correct. I'm okay with that. I, I don't, I'm not sure, given that his play that it was intended, but I prefer I prefer that play. So. Uh, you're actually a bit scared about your HP because you saw the Holy Fire, but your opponent only has 11. Nah, you're not scared of dying that next turn. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just and want she to goes face for trade. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine too. Maybe yeah, keep yeah, it yeah. First, you see Boom Bot. Yeah, pretty good bot. Mm, I, I don't know what, yeah, she, what she, I prefer. She, yeah, yeah. Oh okay. no. That's, ah, that's fine. You can cycle it. Cycling Rust against Control is the best thing you can do. And another cycle. Oh no. He will draw something and then might kill the opponent next turn. Uh, yeah, I think that Snap panelist should be playing uh, not Nefarian. Uh, yeah. Probably Chromag heal. And heal, obviously. Yeah, and Chromag is okay. Like, if he draws. If he plays the second Holy Fire, for instance, that's pretty good. Or uh, any taunt. Basically, any towns in this game. Oh, silence. Won't do anything yet? I guess you draw, maybe. Uh, you draw either way, but the question is the guys. I think you are the Drake. I, uh, no. Oh, why why are the Drake? Could it. You could kill it with Force of Nature. Uh, because you might want to silence um, Chromagus. And the thing is that if you play as Drake and Keeper, yeah. your opponent can't clear your whole board. That's also correct. So if you draw a combo and the Atreus only got 5 cards less in his deck, so he has 20% chance of drawing it. Well, uh, 25? Maybe. No, 20%. 20, yeah? Yeah, because he already percent, spent right? 1. Yeah. And now you silence. And like, okay, my opponent shouldn't be able to clear. 
Um, if I was. That's a very good hit that he didn't draw any down. Oh no. That's good. Oh my uh, god. This is gonna clear, for sure. I should add at least. Wait, isn't little now? Uh, 9, 15. Ah, oh, yeah, that's exactly little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I feel for Sages because that felt really bad. Dude. He just took his uh, roar, which was needed to him so badly. Yeah. And now he just... <laughs> Feels bad, man. That's why you play Brown after you play uh, that... Uh... Elise. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I mean, playing Elise uh, against... Like, when you're playing... Uh, for example, you're playing Elise Warrior, you have Elise, and you're playing against Druid, Playing Elise is okay because on turn 4 you get a 3 5, so that's good. But when you draw the map, you can actually be like, okay, so I have to spend 2 mana to draw cards that I would have drawn otherwise. And yeah. I can actually be. Because it might be a turn where uh, you can't armor up or something. Mm -hmm. Or basically a dead draw if you can't play it. Alright, now it's Warrior versus Mage. And it's Dragon Warrior. So, my plan list could actually be a kind of uh, um, Brian Kibo Disciple playing really kind of, oh yeah, Dragon decks basically. Yeah, Mage capped Elise, what can you say about that? Uh, it's okay because it's obviously a control deck, so keeping a 4 drop is fine. You're playing against Warrior, so you might be expecting yeah. Kenjo Warrior. Uh, Elise is okay here. Uh, okay, never mind. It's Patron. Oh no. So, uh, uh, but here's Flame Strike though. I guess it's sort of Reno deck or something. Uh, it could be a Reno deck. Oh man, Oops. no, oh, it's, sure. it, it's Dragon something. I don't know. Yeah. Question being, does he play a, a Reno Dragon or simply Dragon with anti kill box and Bran? Uh, might be. It might be not a Reno though. Uh, would you consider not to pink as Mage? <laughs> Um, well, not now. I mean, not anymore. Maybe if you... Um, before the Warson come the nerf, it was actually... You don't, you wouldn't ping. Because... Uh, because most warriors were patrons, and you didn't really want them to... Yeah. To have that draw. Obviously, oh, yeah. if you... Look at that. Yeah. That's a slow hand for Rose Mage. He's gonna. Uh, he might get uh, rushed quite hard. And Patron doesn't only rely on, on Patron, it's also Midrim Tech that can. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's gonna go just caught from the lead in the face. You wanna That's rush fine. now? Uh, or you can slam, trade with Weapon. Yeah, and I guess slam is an option. Yeah. Protecting board. But you don't uh, battle rage or no? You do. Oh yeah, you do. You, you got already one. You draw two. Of that it's fine. <laughs> the mage warrior nice was nice enough to ping your <laughs> your minion. Yeah. Yeah, animated armor. Well. Wait, what? Yeah, it doesn't really fit. I I like animated animated armor if you're playing something like uh, uh meal mage. Because, well, in mid you only take one match, that's great, but something yeah. like Oh, actually, I uh, I, want, I wanted to try it, to play a mill mage, and then, like, you have uh, animated armor as a last card. Yeah. <laughs> and then just play it on, in, in the very back end. Yeah, well, that's actually going to be pretty useful. But okay. the, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately it doesn't work like this. Yeah. So, this mage might want to... Polymorph so frothing here. Absolutely. That's correct. Living it alive is very, very risky and scary. Yeah, he's doing it. It's good for the warrior because he's really slowing down the mage too. Couldn't play Sorison, which is actually quite huge. Uh, now we're probably gonna see. Uh, I play Corcoran, I think. Well, you don't have anything else to play though. That puts a lot of pressure. Uh, you can try to set up. Run Lethal next turn playing Death Bite. Mm. Yeah, sometimes I play. 
The mage is going to be forced to. Yeah, I like playing arms with you. Mage will have to uh, flame strike it. Um. And gain so, free armor. Yeah. And next turn you just death by face and frothing. I think. Yeah, seems like the plan. Or you could. Yeah. Well, actually, if you are going face, you're already winning with Grammar Trade. What? If you go this bite face, you're already winning with Grammar in most of the cases. Yeah, but you play Frozen Cakes or something, right? Like. Absolutely. Yeah. Why Alright, that's that? Frostbolt. And I guess yeah. that's 2 2. Oh no. Oh no, that's Lethal. And you just straight with the animated armor with the weapon and. Oh yeah. It was Gromash. That works. Yeah. Right. You play Grom, you kill the armor. Then you got a 10 uh, 8 going face. Yeah. So we are on the fifth game for the first match, first round. That's interesting. Yeah. So now we'll see what better Dragon Mage or the last remaining deck of uh, uh, it's Citrus. Um, I'd favor the Druid. <laughs> Absolutely, why not? Well, if... Uh, but if he gets a bad start like last time, it's gonna be hard. Oh. Uh, that looks like bad, a better start. In uh, a way, it's good. Bad start didn't, didn't lose the game for Druid last time. Ah, it did. Because uh, he couldn't apply a lot of pressure and... Uh, I mean... Well, I guess not. He lost to not drawing uh, that uh, roar when what that was needed. Yeah, that was annoying, but I mean, he had combo in hand, and if he could have applied more pressure earlier, he would have had lethal. Because the priest liked ways of healing himself. Mm. Now, uh, mm. wow, he didn't keep the druid of the cloud despite his innovate. That's surprising. Yeah, I could can agree. Oh, double innovate, look at this. Yeah, but you got nothing to. You don't want to innovate slow step against a mage like that. So, Absolutely not. I mean, you might have to because you want to apply pressure, but it's, but, a, it's a bit painful. Like, you rather have to of the goal. Hmm. Yeah, he's not playing it. Most of it can be uh, the game winning card that delays your op that prevents your opponent from from uh, little in you basically. Uh, well, in that kind of matchup, you also be down, so it's mostly here to prevent your opponent from uh, clearing your board. Oh, new, look, now he can uh, just uh, kill that 1 free and uh, innervate the uh, Druid of the Claw. I don't think you need to innovate the Wrath, though. You uh, play the, the, the Druid claw of the Claw and then the Seed. Yeah. Like, but your Mage will ping. Yeah. yeah, but it's not Freeze Mage, you're not. That worried about it, like if you if your opponent pings it, uh, basically you waste a turn to do that. And it's still a tempo game. Uh, okay, that's the much worst. More annoying, I guess uh, Sagers now regrets that. No. Yeah. Oh no, there is silent stop deck though. Yeah. We could even have considered killing it to protect the one one. Try to apply player pressure. On. But, okay, well, Living Roots isn't really what we want either. We can play Lucid and Trey. No, not for now. Well, I just look at the Mage Hand and I'm really panic. <laughs> like... Uh, you might want to kill the other Dragon, actually. I don't know. Okay. Well, you want to kill other Azure Dragon, you can't can afford steal it. That. Yeah, but... It's not that. Like if he has a Drake trade here, uh, you can still like living with the Drake. Uh, that's okay. And if you get something like a um, as a Drake yourself, <laughs> that can be pretty good too. You can cycle the Ras now uh, for a lot of value. Well, yeah, that will work. Or. Yeah, you play yeah. Inner Wheat and you play uh, Wrath and... Uh, of course you coin the Wrath, so it's like, it what happens. Uh, might not want to innovate, I don't know. Why uh, don't you? I would save coin better. Yeah. 
questions like this, Mario. Now he wasted uh, half of the value out of winner rate. Oh no! Look, he's going face. Oh, that's that's fine though. But still, your Latin creature with one HP per stand versus mage. So we know, we all know how to end. So, just pinged it out. So you can. Oh well, that's. That's yeah. how you play this game. Yeah, you you gotta yeah, get lucky not... sometimes. I don't think he played it now. I think leaving roots in terms of the might be better. Mm, I can agree on it, but do you place your do it of the claw or are you just going here power with that uh, um, raptor? Yeah, you play Drill of the Claw for sure. Huh? Yeah. Alright. Oh, charge! The charge. Interesting. Uh, I feel that if your opponents like us Flame Strike. Well, it's gonna flame strike a four four and four one, which isn't that much of an issue. Uh, on the other hand, if he doesn't have it, that's pretty good. You still have one to apply pressure. Mm, I guess. And you've seen two false bolts already. Oh, if I'm not mistaken. Oh well. Time to check the secrets. I don't think you. Oh yeah, absolutely secrets. Play around the. Uh, right. You, you pretty much guess that one is an Isis block. You could think that the other one is either um, something like Duplicate, uh, Ice Barrier. So now you know it's Ice Barrier. So you so don't expect a Mirror Entity for sure now. Do you expect a, a Fiji or something? You could um, you could expect a Fiji, a Duplicate or Ice Block. But most likely Ice Block then. You, 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 like you're almost sure that this deck play, uh, plays Ice Block. That's... Yeah. That's almost guaranteed. Now you see Ice Barrier, you can pretty much guess what it's been. So. Oh, he still draws. Yeah, draw last. His free cards ahead now. Yeah, but he's beyond on board. He's playing against the uh, scary No, dude. he's not beyond on board. He's off Mage. the board, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So that's. Yeah, 10, ten damage. So mm, now Mage thinks about swipe, but unfortunately <laughs> he, he plays it's... wrong class though. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it was good here. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's a pretty good swipe for the druid. Yeah. But uh, we, I, I just don't know. This mage is sick. He draws and draws and draws and draws. That might be wrong. Uh, bad for him later on. Well, the, the mage only has drawn two more cards in the though. Well, now there are 12 and 14. Alright, now it's uh, 12, 13. Now yeah, you it's... already want to get your uh, your savage roll here or um, an ancient of lore. He's probably gonna play swipe by the way, but. Okay. Alright, that's 20, 20. Uh, yeah. 12, 12 cards now. Yeah. 12, 11. So, yeah, Druid is also very good at cycling against control. Yeah. Now, Mage has a lot of cards in his hand, a lot of high value cards, but. Yeah. Potentially good. high value cards, I would say. Because none of them is actually like. Oh, oh man. Misplay, though. <laughs> Kidding. But he can no. pop I mean. Oh, now we can. <laughs> now you so, can just finish. And the issue is that the mage doesn't play any healing. Um, Wait. Wait, is he? Do you seen any... No, there's a um... ice block. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you uh, can uh, put uh, here well, on. Why, 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 why did he trade with his face? Here? Yeah, uh, else no, uh, That's a misplay. Oh, absolutely. He, he, he could have uh, put him at one. Yes, that's uh, correct. Yes. Or. No, he could have put him at one and not take the damage, not take the base damage. Mm, yeah. But seems wrong. Yeah, but mage has one, so uh, the druid has one. So I guess like. then you can see it now. Well, I don't know what the mage is playing. Like, if he was playing, if he were playing, uh, now he needs that. Reno Jackson, he could have played Talnus and ping it, but yeah. 
if Bomb goes. Oh well. well oh right. right. Boom. Why, why care about bringing bringing your opponent to one when yeah. Boom bots always deal full damage. Out skilled. Yeah. Out Boom bots. All right. That's. Um, I come up with a rule. Uh, the pla that? player who plays the Doctor Boom wins. <laughs> Isn't that already the case? I don't know. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, I think we'll keep on uh, following uh, Satris here. Alright, sure. Um, just give me a link of uh, the next game when it will be there. Let's look at the bracket now. So Satri should be have a game already. Yeah. Mm hmm Just text me his uh, battle tag. Oh, he's yeah. opening battle text or something. I am. Um... I guess. All right. I still don't have. Yeah, it might be. Uh, it might, might be off now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll just restart my system. I have a slight visual bug. Now I have 13 friends online out of 37. I got 42 out of 113. Yeah, yeah but do you know like uh, 1337? No. Do you know the Do story? I have 1337 in my friend list? No, I mean, uh, do you know the story of 1337? Do you know what does it mean? I, I, I do know what it means. You know? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. so. so I am elite confirmed. Right? Oh, because. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, I got 42 friends online, so I got the answer at least. One. <laughs> <laughs> that guy doesn't add me yet. Nah, he's not. He's not. Uh, he hasn't had it. He's open and yet, so. Oh, uh, alright. Oh wait, wait. Oh uh, yes, we should be back here. Are we streaming, by the way? Mm hmm. Are, are we streaming? Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah. Amateur production. Hmm. <laughs> Good talking. So, uh, yeah, we have to wait. So let's just check out the uh, lineup uh, for a second. So Magarian is uh, playing Mage, Paladin, Warlock, and Druid. 
On mm -hmm. Centuries, we saw already played uh, Warrior, Jutes, Warlock, and Mage. So, uh, it could be interesting to see the bans. Um, Centuries might ban Mage again to. Uh, oh, no, uh, never mind. He, he banned Warrior. Uh, Magmar might ban Warrior, though. Mm -hmm. this mate. On the other hand, he got uh, Paladin, Warlock, and Druid are highly favored against War. Not highly favored, but should be favored against Warrior if it's uh, control. However, if it's Patron, yeah, he might want to ban Warrior actually. Absolutely, you just ban it out. Yeah. Uh, no one of this deck, depending on the version he's playing, because he could be playing Warlock Paladin and Rainer Jackson. Rinalock, but yeah, banning warrior might be a safe play here. But the Rinalock so can just take care of it once and for all. But yeah, not not for all, but oh, once. Yeah, but it's not like <laughs> uh, it's not like, for example, handlock versus patient because uh, Rinalock only has can uh, only has like one reliable card to deal with patient in five. Mm -hmm. Shadow, which is Hellfire, Shadow Flame can be good, but she needs something on board, which is unlikely because if he has Patron turn five, that means a death battle has been used and might have killed something, unless it's an, uh, a it's a trial Drake. And Twisted Nether might be a bit slow. It's still good against Patron, but that's correct. Twisted Nether, not the really big quantity of players played though. Most Rino played. Mm -hmm. Most most Rino played right now. I don't know. Uh, I I just play Secret Pally, so <laughs> uh, I don't care whether they play it or not. I just lot of them. I yeah, keep... because they are still alive by tonight. Yeah, well, I keep it in mind, of course, but uh, usually I don't expect it because, uh, like, I remove that card myself from my list. Yeah. Uh, just... Also, against it's hard to play against. Actually, you should try not to. Uh, playing around cards against Rinlock is a bit awkward because you know they only run one off. So yeah. Like okay, if you're uh, very late to the game, you can expect them to have uh, BJs, BJs if they haven't played it and haven't had any opportunity to play it. Or mm -hmm. it. But it's true that on the you're not gonna play around it. Yeah, you can't play around everything. You can't play around the whole deck, basically. I don't know. Do you want to play a game or something? I can stream you playing a game. Uh, I think that we won't just have time, but I could. Alright. In the meantime, just to keep you waiting. I might be playing you. Yeah, well, I play something fast and <laughs> sorry for... If I give you cancer, I'm really sorry. That's fine. So, Agar Shaman against Warlock. If it's Zoo, it's a favorite matchup for Zoo, quite obviously. Uh, it's really bad starting in. Do you run this coin? Isn't that good? Do you run any OEs? No, I don't. Oh man, I really want my okay flame juggler. It's pretty... Okay, that's a really good starting in now. Only issue is that I'm starting second, which is not um, a really good thing yeah. in Agri Sagra. Well, you have a combo with your truck and feral spirit, though. Yeah. Question is, I'm not going to play around the multi cold on turn, uh, on turn two, but if he has multi cold, that's really bad for me, obviously. Huh? And he seems and he to has. I was dark bomb too, but okay, so that's a really bad start for me. Oh no. Uh, if I come to like feral spirit here, I can still play Lepagnum next turn. Might be the best play because it's really str strong in that. Totem Golem was definitely a good play too. Um, but I would still have to play my coin. So here I'm probably not gonna trade because more can. I'm not really going to play around. Uh, Hellfires. Uh, yeah, but Hellfire is okayish. 
Well, yeah, he just. I mean, he kills his charm, so that doesn't just make me lose damage. All right. Demon Ras. So yeah, that was very few guards that could have punished me for not trading here. Uh. So generally, you don't want to overload yourself into four. Yeah. But I don't have Doom Armor in my hand, so I'm gonna play Totem Golem here. That's interesting. I don't play um, Flame Dunk to them, so uh, positioning doesn't really matter. Mad of course. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes, please, just. So, a uh, lot of versus to play here. Um, could play Rock Bite, but I would write, like to keep it in case I get to Mama. Yeah. Uh, point being here that I don't have to play to get around Demon Rass anymore for now. Yeah, I so could also have Lavish Knox to play my Juggler, but might want to keep it for now. And why are you going to Lava Shock, Lava Shock Freeze? Yeah, I could have done that. To be able to play Flame Juggler on top of that. Mm. Okay, so 7, I need... I'm too off lethal. That's sad. There you yeah, go. Very no, sad. Th no. That, that doesn't help, but at least you can silence it and ignore it. Yeah. Okay. All so, right. I actually... One man off lethal. <laughs> Yeah, uh, one mana off for 50 50 lethal, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So now there's a question. I'm gonna go face. Because I'm guessing that since he played Thorson, not Reno, he doesn't have Reno in his hand. So well, I'm gonna go face here. Yeah. Okay, seems there's some lag. So basically, that's 70% chance that he has no Reno uh, now. Uh, What? Sorry, you became a robot. Uh, okay, I got disconnected. Oh, All right. Yeah, I got disconnected, so I couldn't play anything. Okay. Why is it now? Okay, my Uh, that's the issue with the reconnect feature. Sometimes it's freeze you. Yep. Maybe we can go to another game though. Yeah, I think we should try to find another game. Yeah. In the meantime. Uh, did I? Okay, I lost my game due to disconnection. Great. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh actually person is bugged, I don't have a friend list anymore. No oh, no. Must be very upset though. Yeah. Well that's fine. Um so So we should find another game. Mm. Yes, we shall. Well, let me check if there's been any activity in the chat. Right. Yeah. Yep. So Satris' opponent might be after. Uh, so let's find a game. Yay! Wait, wait. Where's my music?
Oh, I guess it takes forever to load. Can what? You just, yeah. Can you just send me battle text? Yes. That would be greater. The first one has an idea we get. Alright. I sent. They still not answering. Oh, that's bad. Uh, I think he's not here for now. So we might. Uh, they haven't done the ban. Oh, they've done the ban, so it should be here. All right. Okay. One edit me. Just edit yeah. me. Yeah. Let's talk about their lineups. So, Pytos has brought Rogue, Priest, Druid, and Warlock. So, Rogue, we haven't seen a lot of Rogues, and it can be pretty good at, uh, because it has a decent factor surprise. Uh, you can also, like, depending on which version, if you're playing oil, you can have some really crazy starts, uh, which can be able to deal with both Hacker and Control. Um, <clears throat> and, but it's Druid gone bad. Meanwhile, Shadon has Warlock, Mage, Warrior, and Priest. Priest got banned. Um, so, no Paladin, no Druid this time. That's gonna be. That should change a bit. Two Warlocks, though. But two Warlocks seems to be one of the most uh, seen class tournaments alongside with Druid. Mm -hmm. oh, well. Also, because they're very slight classes. Um, so, Mage. So mage might be Freeze Mage here, which. Could be a reason for Shadan to ban Druid. Uh, Freeze Mage is really efficient against, well, basically each of Peter Pyder's deck. Uh, if it's Zoo, it's a really good counter. If it's Priest, pre Control Priest gets also counters as well by Freeze Mage. And Rogues tend to struggle against Freeze Mage now too. But it might be uh, the least worst matchup for Pyder's against mm. Freeze Mage. Absolutely. Well, yeah, you basically want to ban Druid and Warrior when you play your Freeze Mage. My pilot has disconnected. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, as long as uh, we don't have his uh, opponent in our friend list. I do. You do? I don't. And just forced him to add me though. Would be great. All right, be done, right? Oh wait. Uh Peter asks for seven minutes delay. Yes we find another game. What, what is he asking for delay? Uh he is asking for like seven minutes delay and no why. I mean for us to wait for seven minutes or yes. okay. Uh yeah, we can try to find those game. Yeah. That will take too much time. Well, 
let's see if Sadris is playing. No, he's in main menu. Yeah, but this for now. Let me see. Okay, so we might actually re uh, see Sage's play again. I'll send you his battle tag. Mm -hmm. So that guy won't. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Yeah, my mic just fell down. Do you hear me? Yes, I do. Sorry, guys. So, the previous opening tour for Sage didn't show up, right? We yeah, absolutely. One. You gotta buy on that. Rust mm. Rust That's me. So let's get to the other game that we should now be casting because both players are here. So uh -huh. again, Sagris with Warrior, Druid, Warlock, and Mage. Against Rise V with Warrior, Paladin, Warlock, and Druid. So more classic lineup, basically. The only difference that Sagris Mage while Rise V has Paladin. Uh, again, f uh, Freeze Mage might not be that good here because of the presence of Druid and Warrior. Absolutely. So might be tempted to ban. Uh, <clears throat> might be tempted to ban Warlock actually because Zoo. Uh, uh, depending on this warrior, Zoo could counter already his Paladin and Druid. Uh, it should be strong enough against Druid. Yeah. And the warrior. He could also ban a warrior. Uh, he's probably not going to ban Mage, though, given the fact he has two good, two good class against it. Uh, for Satris, uh, a warrior ban might be might be good here to protect his freeze mage. Mm -hmm. uh, could also ban. Yeah, I think I think he should, he will ban warrior. Could I don't see any reason to ban any of the class because of it. So they just ban warrior and then we'll start. Uh we'll see. I'll keep you posted with the bands once they're done. Alright. I could hire a uh, maid and. Uh, no one has been made yet, so. Sorry? What was you saying? Yeah. This is interesting to see that. Alright. You get you get in robot. Yeah, go ahead. Can you jump? Oh yeah, indeed. Oh, yeah, this is still on the side, so I might have some connection issues. Just call me back, alright? Okay. Okay? Yeah. Oh yeah, now you are clear. But you very very quiet. What do you mean by quiet? Oh man. It's really impossible to hear you. Okay. Alright, uh, now now it's fine. Yeah, I said it's lighting outside, so connection might be slightly disturbed. Lightnings, yay!
Oh, some some shaman duels. Yeah, absolutely. I see. Oh my goodness. In the meantime, scientists, have you seen the new cards that have been released uh, yesterday, I believe? Oh no, I haven't seen that. What, what does that tell me? Oh, today, actually. Oh, there was also one today. Uh, uh, so, there's a new priest card that has been revealed just, uh, like maybe 30, mi 30 minutes ago, a bit more. Uh, it's called Embrace the Shadow. It's a priest spell, epic one. Uh, it costs two. It reads, this turn, your healing effects deal damage instead. So it's kind of an Okunai, which will only work one turn. Uh, it doesn't have the body, obviously. Um, it could be interesting in some kind of versus priest, but it doesn't seem... Uh, it could be good. Well, say. yeah, that depends also on the cards which will re yeah. be released later. I think that with a card like Light of Scenario cycling out, might lose some efficiency because it have been great uh, with both that and flash heals. Obviously, circle of healing, but circle of healing will still be here. Mm -hmm. um, the good point is that sometimes you want to clear with all my but you want her to die because you want to be able to heal yourself after that. Um, but living a 3 5 body is just skin tumor might be slightly weaker. I can rely on what you're saying. And we're still waiting for our guys to start the game though. Absolutely. Alright, they're starting. Great. Do they? Yeah, they do. I see him in the... Uh, in the hangar, in, uh, in the menu, still. Oh, yeah. Heading into play mode, hanging out in the main menu. But you can't challenge him, so that says something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Should sound. Uh, we've also seen new... Well, in the meantime, let's fill up the time. Uh, we also seen new cards yesterday. Um, a new rock spell revealed by Dog, which is called Faisal C. So, Wolf Uncle Player will know the, the, the name at least. Uh, it's a spell, a rare spell, which got six. Um, it reads draw one card and add two extra copies of it into your hand. Uh, it's interesting because it's kind of a sprint that costs one less, draws you one as card, but you get uh, two, time, um, two more times a card to be drawn. It doesn't really seem to fit. Uh, rug meta decks because they are actually about uh, auto, mostly auto org is about fishing up your combo and like if you draw three backstab, yeah sure it's good but you might not, you might rather get your void so doesn't seem that strong but it has some potential to prep uh, and there's also Twilight Summoner a neutral pick it's a one one for four. Uh, but it has Death Rush, it will summon a 5 5 first, let us destroy it. Uh, it's kind of a slow egg. Uh, probably was an egg, but it doesn't need a, an activation to. Uh, all in all, it can be interesting. You know what? We might have Peter's game now. Yeah, actually, we could. Yeah, because that's all something just happens. I don't know, these players. Yeah, sometimes it takes a while. People have to eat something, then it goes. Oh, guys, we have these four players. Itas <laughs> versus Shidan and uh, Cyrus vs. Uh, with... R Rastvi. Oh my goodness. And they all have sort of wish uh, issues, so we can't help them. All right, Peters and uh, Shidan start. Let's go on it. Yeah, they are preparing to battle each other. The 
they picked their first decks for the match. Yep. So let's go back to see. All right. Now the bo both couples just started. So I guess we'll join to one which will go up I button first. Yep. First started, first streamed. That's for sure. Uh, I'm probably going to be fair, so. <sighs> Wait, what? Nothing shows. <laughs> yes, oh my goodness, that gamer. Huh? Oh well, sometimes. You have to think about. It's actually really important to think about what you're going to bring up first. Like, for example, uh, do you want. If you know your opponent is playing Freeze Mage, do you really want to play um, something else? I don't know. Why you're first? Do you want to let him get his an easy win with Mage? Or... That's always, always a question. Like. I don't know, they just quit the duel and started to make him deck. Oh my goodness, that delay is just huge. Sorry, I got this Alright, here we go. Uh, I started? Yeah, uh, Cyrus... Say Trace, I mean. Oh wait, that's Reno versus Patron. What could you say about this? Uh, well, that might be an interesting game. Uh, wait, you, what do you mean? Yeah, surely it will. There is the ooze in the hand and also faceless manipulator. Yeah, I know, uh, I'm just enjoying the game. So, although that game is really important for the watch, you get to say really fast to be able to deal with uh, all the patrons, obviously. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. I can't see the wall again for some reason for now. Might be back. Okay. Thanks to a really good, solid, uh, <laughs> really solid spectator mode. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Not like it's at all. That's one of the best spectator mode eyes I've seen, and I've yeah. been casting ton of games. Yes, <laughs> yes, two. Yeah, so <laughs> front fixed. So yeah, um, the warrior is trying to apply uh, some pressure here. Um, Warlock has not uh, any AOEs yet, but for Satris, and we don't see any patrons now. He got the death knight though, and the inner rage. Um, Obviously, flooding can be quite menacing, especially uh, with that unstable ghoul, uh, which would be able to uh, both protect it and uh, also. The problem is that uh, Satyrus has no execute now. That's a huge problem for him. That's an issue, but right now I can protect uh, his flooding because Ryan's VI has no way to deal with it. No! Oh. Oh, it's yeah. interesting now because Ratsby could uh, clear the board, but she was one of his uh, precious AUs uh, against Patron. Mm -hmm. Well, I think Alfire is still the player because you don't really want to let uh, a Frozing loose. But could anyways, actually kill you. He just gives 12 armor to opponent. Yeah, but that's fine. Like, you, <clears throat> you don't really care about the uh, armor's warrior. It's actually a bit more. Oh, yeah. 
or a champion? Uh, mostly because you're gonna win on the long run, so just need not to die to uh, to some burst from Gromash, for instance, which can be quite strong too. Mm -hmm. And here you just attempt to draw with Acolyte. Yeah. What? Oh wow. Oh yeah. Razvi is both playing Uz and Harrison. Yes, that please. Is that's that is going to be really painful for his opponent. What are you going to do now as a warlock? Do you play Brown and just like you know this uh uh Dark Peddler? Yeah, that could be a play. Don't think you you're not scared to die, so you don't want to reveal bot right now. Uh Brown is like do you want to really give Brown an, instead of keeping it for anti key bot, that's the question. Um, I guess you just Go for it. Because. Oh, corruption is great. Let's pick it and run oh. with it. It's okay, it's not that good though. Well, yeah, but if there is a uh, last card left, you can move it to the board. So, yeah, you just pick Blood it. You also uh... pick the Squire, just for the body. Ah, uh, no, mm. not you don't pick it because of... Uh... Because, because of it's uh, one attack and it can. Yeah, um... yeah. Because of like, like uh, second death bites. Uh, sadly, for for the warriors, they're both gonna get hidden by Uz and Harrison. Oh yeah. <laughs> he didn't see it coming, but we do. Mm, he goes to to four of Bran just to trade with his weapon and. And then yeah, what? killing the brown seems like play. Do you, oh, he's in rage also and just goes ah. for trade and uh, okay. That allows him to. So yeah. he trades with the peddler because he doesn't expect his uh, his death by to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Else he probably would have traded with the with the trial Drake. So, well, he might expect it, but you can't really play around it because you expect only one card. Uh, maybe. And we talk about that. Here the Harrison and then... Oh, it's really painful for him now. So he's probably gonna play, yeah. So I'm pretty sure he can't free tap. So, Chao yeah. will... Can be here to add more pressure. So, we're gonna see it's probably the second... Uh, this, oh, Orbum. Uh, second, that's why it is uh, auto loose. Yeah, I think this might might be better because if you get BGH, you're really going to lose a board. On the other hand, Doom Oh can man! A lot. Uh, oh, Reno is big. That's. I've got Reno Jackson. Woo! I'm about to heal. Exactly. So uh, the boom depends. Boom at RNG could really help Sentry's uh, dealing with that board. That's okay ish. Yeah, but it dies to whirlwind. Yeah, that's why I say it's okay because uh, five one is manageable for white. Hmm. Uh, so now you're probably playing death bites and uh, frothing. Yeah. Don't Maybe. you want to make a lot of patrons? Ah, it's true. You've seen a hellfire. You debut whirlwind so that you're less scared out of um, shadow flame. Yes. Yeah, not scared at all, like, I mean. Yeah. But still, it, it might hit you, though. Uh, now we'll see Twisting Nether, almost for sure. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. So you play Boom? No, you play Twisting Nether. I mean, Alright. If you play Boom, you're just gonna spawn more Patreon. Yeah. Yeah, just... You just see it being executed, since you haven't seen any from now. Okay. Or... Yeah, you could try some implosion. That seems really greedy. Mm. Yeah, I think this thing as is a safe pick. You got Trino. You're less worried about any e burst now. But there it is. There is a charge in the hand of uh, Yeah, but the Warlock is at 20 HP. It's not like scared of dying. But he can just get 8 uh, HP burst, which is huge now. It's like the half of his uh, current uh, health level. Yeah, but he has maybe, like if the warrior right now plays Corcoran, because face was it in the, um, the weapon, 
he will be able to um, to both kill the destroy the weapon. Okay, he's not playing the weapon though. Yeah. Interesting. Argus. For whatever reason. Okay. My spectre mode is better than I have to. Do you, I don't know. Kill bot and Argus City or something? I could be play. You could also play the implosion, that might be risky. Mm, do you implosion to four or for three? Three might be safer, but that's the issue that and maybe you can argue some. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that actually works, so you just go for it. But because oh, if you... no. Yeah, that explosion is painful for sure. That, that's uh, not painful. That just oh. hits at two. <laughs> that is pretty his power. Uh, I, I was a bit doubtful when I saw him. Yeah, I like that uh, heal, but it's safer. You've seen two whirlwinds already, so you're not really scared of him uh, having uh, more than one whirlwind effect. Like if he played Death Bite and use Warax Procket, so you're not that afraid of dying. But Warrior also is not in very good shape now. Oh, it's really bad shape. I mean, yeah. he doesn't know, but there's a Reno in the Wall of Sand. Um, oh no, I... that's another air cycle here. Yeah, but he can't cycle it right now. Unless yeah. he cycles it on his. Into Fortune, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah he's gonna uh, see what's. Probably you want uh, Hunter Warlock here, power, power. Or, or Warlock, yeah. Yeah. Warlock is really good here. Absolutely. Warlock is oh, good. Oh, yeah. That would do. Oh, that's okay. Uh, your Cochrane is still gonna die. Uh, probably the Frothing. I don't know. Can't kill this. Yeah, you can. Well. Yeah. Just that overwhelming now is gonna be good. Oh, now it's going to be imp uh, PO and Implosion. Oh, no, not Implosion. I don't think you shed a flame here. You don't need to. You can clear most of the board like that. Um, you but might. What do you mean by like that? Well, you might want to keep it against patrons. Mm -hmm. So here you can simply trade your uh, one one to the four one, peel the other one, kill the frothing. Mm -hmm. and probably Reno because you might be scared of um, Grom in rage. Mm, and then you, you have good all these that can you, you you can use your Argus on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Here is Grom though. Yeah, that's why that's why she, it was the right play to Reno. Nice read though. But he's going to die and trade problem with that Grom, you know? Oh no, he's going to break the weapon. Yeah, that seems still the best play here, to be honest. But yeah, this is gonna it's going to punish that play, so it's really hard to predict that you're uh, yeah. Opponent playing Reno Lock is playing both Ooze. I mean, Ooze is, is a tech card already in Reno. Some plays it. Um, I'd say most play it. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, the Reno, uh, no, not Reno, Harrison Jones is. is less, you see less of them, plus it's both of them. is really hard to Yeah, produce. but we didn't see Elise, though. I don't think he's playing Elise. He's, yeah, uh, that's he could be. That's still unlikely. He plays Dyraxxus and uh, Burst Combo. That's already a lot of cards to feed him, especially with two anti weapon tech cards. I guess if he draws the um, Archon, Arcane Golem, it might be little. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be 16 damage. 16 on the out of uh, yeah, Golem and uh, yeah, PO, and then he still has 5 on the board, which uh, equals 21. So, if Taunt was not there, it would be a little. Yeah, so, yeah, so Warlock is in really good shape right now, that's for sure. Okay, he's gonna see where the Boombot goes. It's okay. Doesn't want. Ah, uh, that's bad for him, though. I think it is a good pickup. 
Uh, he's protecting me, stones. And the warrior is actually running. <laughs> I've drawn far more cards than the warlock. Oh, That's... yeah. Yeah, I don't think he still has damage to. Especially with now that there's a big game hunter. Don't really see. Oh, no. How the warrior has a chance to win against Shadow Flame and big game hunter. The and problem is else. that. Uh, beside that. Paraxus is also here, and you don't yeah. have any activators ready for your Grom. Yeah, I think among his last card, he still has an inner rage. Yeah, that's right, but uh, in hand. Yeah. So, honestly, if I was a Warlock, I, I, I wouldn't even play Thoris and I played safe, play Belcher and Limping Boss. I mean, you know there's still a Patreon, you know there's still a Grom, you're fine. Oh yeah. I mean either way you've won. Yes. You just need to yeah. play this game nicely. That was in a rage. 14, uh, 17. Uh, that's how much you can get in take. I mean give. And you also have to. Yeah. Okay, so. Do you No, you don't in rage from now, right? You just don't. Might have to though. I mean you're not gonna Win against Grom because you know he might have. Been, uh, Maybe your best I chance is uh, waiting here, Axis, for no reason. Yeah, yeah, but you don't know whether he plays Jaxus or not. So it yeah. depends. It's just and so Wallach would never play Jaxus like that. No reason to lose ten HP to play yeah. that. He got all the cards he needs. Doesn't need uh, six 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 room. So now uh, Arkham Golem would be lethal. It doesn't have it. Could still fish for it though. So. Alright, that's 8 damage plus 12 damage. Is actually one of lethal. Uh, yep. Yeah. Power overwhelming Jaraxxus. Okay, yeah. choose not to tap. He's gonna play it safe. Play Belger. Play him Gang Boss. He'll save bro. Oh, actually, he missed Lethal because there was a one fatigue damage. Oh, yeah. He actually missed Lethal. Oh, absolutely, right. Yeah, sometimes you've. Because you're in a game where you don't really care about killing your opponent, you forget that you actually have Lethal because for some reason. You're not actually looking for it. That's correct. Yeah, actually, yeah. that was Lethal. 12 damage would. Yep. Uh, that didn't really matter here. But still, it's still important to spot the lethal because sometimes, well, you get punished for it. There was no way you would get punished here. So, uh, Rats V passes Warlock, still has Druid and Paladin against so uh, Patron, mm -hmm. uh, probably Zoo and Freeze Mage. So, Rats V is in a decent shape, depends, depending still on what goes up. So, Patreon gets chewed, it's actually uh Oh man, that's clunky. Clunky. Yeah. For both of them now. Yeah. Uh, I'd say that like it, it really depends on the first six, seven turns. If the patron can unload it, his patrons he should be able to win. That's uh I wouldn't say he's the only way to win, but that's main win condition. Uh Druid Druid has very nice hand though. Yeah, that's a recent hand. Uh, question being... You don't, you just pass. Yeah. You don't want to root, right? You don't I was thinking of innovating shade, to be honest. Well, I think like... Yeah, I think. if you innovate shade, then nothing happens, because uh, you don't have any second turn and third turn. Going to he would have, he would have. Yeah, I was. <laughs> but yeah, sure, yeah. without having a reliable two turn, it was a bit risky. You could have done it against Control Warrior, but not Control Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the question is here, do you innovate? He could innovate Shredder to try I to guess you just like Wild Growth. Growth. Wild Growth, but that's a slightly greedy, though. Ah, uh, why, why don't you take greed? Uh, because you're not uh, you're playing against Patreon Warrior. So what? You have nice hand. Eh. Eh, alright. You don't want him to get... Like to get too much damage in. Mm. So yeah, Frozen's gonna get out of the bag. Um, 
only you play for Druid for now if he wants to destroy it is, uh, to deal with it, it stuns it. Oh no, man, that's just very oh. interesting situation, yeah. Oh no, you, you you go and keep off the grave and you kill that frolling. That seems like really straightforward. Yeah. Yeah, you you deny him the say say uh, the whirlwind effect. Uh, sure, the one three will trade with your shredder, but that's okay. Yeah, that's like it's an easy play. But he didn't. Because... Why didn't he play top deck one? I guess that's a play. Yeah. He's play confirmed. <laughs> So now the warrior's a bit of a tight situation because he got two battle rage that are uh, kind of yeah, bad. No? The hand is stuck. Yeah, he could play like um, core crown trade with two four. Yeah. That's personally why I prefer shredder in in patron, but oh yeah, yeah, I like that in a rage actually. I do. Uh, oh also. no, you can't trade it. Hmm. Mm, that's really just good. so great, yeah. Yeah, Ras Wild Girl seems really good here. It's fine if you don't kill that girl. Yeah, can't do nothing. Or you could simply hero power and keep your rats. That's actually against Patron, it's not that much of you know, such a bad idea. I don't know. Ras can kill a Patron, your hero power. Oh, yeah, that's also better. Yeah, I think Rare Rat. Yeah, you're in a game when, where, like, for example, if you're playing Druid against Control, mm -hmm. uh, well, your Rask isn't going to do much against, for example, like, you're playing against uh, Control Warrior, mm -hmm. you won't kill a Shin Maiden with it, so you might as well, like, cycle them and get your combo faster and just accelerate the game. Yes. Meanwhile, against Patreon, you actually want some removals and to play them efficiently. I mean, cycling was good too, but I like keeping the Rask. Oh no, that's our armor smith, yeah. Yeah. Well, if the patron can keep both of his creatures alive, he can get a, a huge uh, battle rage value. I mean, not huge because he's not damaged himself. Well, yeah, just four cards. But probably this one three will die. Or even one four. Um, one four, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna clear living roots. Unfortunately, you don't uh, live in roots, the patron, but still, you kind of die. You have already uh, Rasp for this purpose. Yeah, that might be not enough against the hold of Patron, but it's okay. So now, like, the Patron oh, man. such a bad hand. He oh, boy. That. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna Finley. Let's see what he gets. He needs the oh no, no Warlock Hero Power. We go next. Yeah, I mean, Mage is okay-ish, but... Mage is okay, but you are not going to control the game. Get a, you would no. better love uh, something like um, Hunters. Good pick up. Oh man, oh man. So, anyways, you would love the Hunters hero power better than Mage's one. I don't know. Oh, that's oh, a man. good card. I mean, the jury is going to be able to deal uh, still uh, relatively. Um, I mean, it's not gonna pose a huge threat to the Druid, but it's still a really good topic here. Because that allows him to get back on board. Yeah, Druid does. Oh man, they just swipe for 5 here. Yeah, so you, you can, cycle Ras. Yeah, you cycle Ras, and then you just. Uh, you go face first with Drake. Well, no, you okay. Ras first. Oh, That's maybe great. you can Ras for 5. Oh, for four, and then just go face. With swipe. Uh, 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 uh. I know. Yeah. He's swipe. Okay, he wants to keep his ras. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, not sure I like it, but why not? Um, that's just an uh, opinion which. Uh, I don't know. Deserves to believe it. He's taking his strikes. So that's a good idea. Also, uh, that's really annoying for Satris because he can't, he can't battle Rage now. That's really... Uh, oh! Mage Hero Power with Zakodak is pretty decent. Especially yeah. with... This is gonna make a... Yeah, please, I want to refill in my hand, please. Battle Rage is gonna come. Rom is decent because... Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, and it's gonna exec uh, tempo execute here. I like it. 
out or let me go He's also go? playing around the combo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's the combo oh, though. That's the wrong pot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're trading the uh, keeper. I think. Yeah. You can't allow uh, him to ping it every turn. Do you force of nature? No. No, no, no. Uh, your opponent has too many HP to do that. Oh, uh, wow. So now we might see a change of pace here. Because the war, uh, Drew doesn't. He's a bit. Like some cards. He's gonna play Desbite, play uh, Corsair for free, yeah. and. I'm not sure if he's gonna play Acolyte, though. Why don't you go uh, yeah, face he can, with he can ping it, so yeah. He's gonna do it. I would love to go uh, face, though. That's sad about it. Because the issue against Rudy, like, you don't want to play Acolyte and do nothing with it because he can get silenced or just rest. And yes. You're gonna miss some. Ah, uh, Drake is a decent pickup. It allows you to cycle again. Oh, man. Just another yeah, one. Yeah, he plays both here. That's cool. You play both? Oh, uh, yeah. I think so. Okay. You could actually. Nah. No, you play both. Sure. Oh no, he doesn't. Oh, okay, fine. So, Warrior still hasn't drawn his. Uh, yeah, his he's like 13, uh, 12 cards on deck, and none of the patrons show up. He needs something to burst his opening down, but uh, Krons. It was only one Kron, right? Honestly, like. Zidru has drawn. Yeah, the issue is that he has kept a few cards. One card is his hand for a long time. Could be BJH, but you could, honestly, you could almost contemplate to go grum face here. Yeah, that's, that's I would love it like mm, mm, previous you, turn, not this one. You kill the Drake, you, yeah. uh, you play Grom, you kill the Drake, you go face with Grom, and you play that uh, ghoul because you want to protect it from the shade. Protect mm -hmm. the, from the shade. You will get a little bit greedy, I guess, with that floating berserker. I guess he thinks about the same thing, but he just wants to... Yeah, like that thing yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, I like this turn, actually. He's setting him Lethal for next time. Yes. The Wolven effect and Frothing and Grom in the sand, that's gonna be... Yeah, uh, that's... Oh no, swipe. swipe top deck. That's pretty good. And then he's going to town top. Just like mm. that. Maybe. You yeah, can just do yeah, something he, he's with your to execute. He's up to execute, he can. But. Yeah. Uh, so he. The words is 6 damage of lead. This case. Yeah. But also, this. Uh, this Druid of the Claw heals you for 6. Well, sort of heals. So, what you can do is. Uh, you could actually run. No. You can play Druid. You could also play Force to. Mm -hmm. yeah, but the thing is, you can kill the Ghoul and clear the 3 2 2. With your hero power? Yeah. Alright. That oh, makes sense. Doesn't. Well, you're making the 3 1 de kill by Deathbite, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna see an inner rage right now. So... Uh, an inner oh. Oh, yeah, that's Lethal. Oh wait, what? is it one uh, of Little? It's one of, it's one yeah, of. one of Little, that's correct. Uh, on the other hand, the Druid? <laughs> oh boy, is he gonna... He's not gonna kill it through one though. Uh, does... No, yeah, that's 2-12. No, the Druid doesn't have anything. Oh, wait a minute. Shit, yeah, he had Lethal! Oh yeah. I forgot about the Mage Hero power. We'll play from Cetris. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh my. I tend not to miss those Lethal, but I miss that one. Well, yeah. the, the, that warrior with mage hero power, like, you can see it often. So, 1-1. One, one. Uh, so, warrior and... Uh, warrior is gone, so is Sue. So we have now Warlock and Mage against Druid and uh, Paladin. Interesting. Uh, if I was Sertris, I if you're playing Zoo, well, you play Zoo now, because you know you're gonna win. Or you could play Freeze, Mage. Uh, eh. 
I think Sage is favored here because if he has Freeze Mage, um, he should be favored against the Paladin, not against the Druid for sure. Like, if you play Freeze Mage and your Organs is win, you're like, great. You don't want him to win with. Yeah, no, you play, you play Freeze Mage here. Uh, the thing is that. Yeah. That's actually. No, he, uh, my bad. Doesn't follow his pattern. Um, the Zoo should win against Bones of Razbag, while Freeze Mage should only win against Baldin. Um, I think I played Freeze Mage. I don't think it doesn't really matter, but not well, enough. Yeah, we'll find out, don't worry. Yep! Oh, he's playing Tempo Mage and <laughs> then. Oh, it's that's Tempo Mage against Strude. Okay. So, Tempo Mage after win, let's go drink coffee, I don't know. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have to win, but given the starting end of both player, no. Uh, I'd really favor Tempo Mage right now. He got the Mad Scientist. He got the. I don't like him keep keeping Flame Waker and Knock on Missile against Drew, to be honest, but... Flame Waker, yeah, I, I personally don't love... don't like to play to like in arcade mode when you just tempo on turn 3. I really love to combo it with the, those small things. Uh, actually, he has a coin, so keeping Flame Waker is that absurd. Well, that basically gives you 4 strikes, right? Yeah. 5. No, is that seven? Like you flame worker coin, uh, Arcan missile block seven. Oh yeah, in this case, <laughs> which is pretty decent. Uh, but he's gonna use this coin. Uh, I like it because uh, no, actually, uh, he got removals, but he doesn't necessarily expect his opponent to play. Uh, I don't like using that coin. He doesn't have a. a and then follow up. Doesn't have yeah. a, a two, two turn, a turn two. Okay. Now I like it more. <laughs> oh god, man. Okay, you can now. just do it, but that doesn't worth anything. Uh, Get discount on two cards is not. Yeah, but on the initial yeah. ones. And on, on, yeah. on another hand, he uh, this Taurus and will be just uh, uh, sniped by uh, that fl uh, flame cannon. I think he's still expecting his opponent to be playing. I, I think keeping it is decent because you have a shield of lore and you can uh, yes. basically play it next to him. Absolutely. He doesn't know which mage his opponent is playing, so if I were him, I'd still be expecting Freeze Mage, to be honest. So, yeah. So you just uh, Ancient of Lore? Yeah, now. Lore is good because you draw two cards, so you probably will draw a 4 drop for next turn. Don't maybe. you want heal? Uh, Roar is bad here. Now, next Thomas is okay. That gives you a drop next. Yeah, uh, now, the issue for the mage is like flame cannon. Yeah, sure, but doesn't. Yeah, you overkill it a bit. I think you still want to, to kill it. Mm. I mean, you, you kill it for sure, but the question is do you use. Yeah, I guess flame uh, cannon is the only. No, way. you use frostbolt. It's true. Why? Because Flame Cannon will always get good value against Druid. You're not gonna burst him down with Frostbolt. Okay. Once you get on the board and then... Basically the idea with Temple Mage is that you establish the board, then you basically clear what the Druid gets on board and go face with your minions. So... Uh, Flame Cannon generally has good value against that, against uh, Druid. But now Rust TVI knows that uh, he plays against Temple though. Yeah. Absolutely, and that could have also. Uh, yeah, deny him from playing shade. I yeah, I think I would still have played shade to be honest. In into, the, into mirror entity. Yeah. I mean, what do you, what do you expect? Like the best you could give him is keep up the growth because it's yes. good. I mean, I prefer giving him a shade than a a shredder. Yeah. Like he doesn't seem to be to be playing down as aspirant, so. What, you're gonna give him an uh, Emperor? Mm -hmm. That also makes sense, yeah. But or he could be thinking... Oh, well. Oh, yeah, that, that's a great part. <laughs> he could also be thinking that his opponent's playing double Mario Entity and try to... Uh, try to open the secret first to see. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, I for one play double mirror entity. So. Oh no. So that's it's probably, it's probably counter spell. Probably counter spell. Yes, but... it is. Okay, I can't see it for now. <laughs> Some do play duplicates. I like it less. Depends on. Uh, I play double mirror entity because I play uh, um, tempo mage to counter. Uh, again, I don't. I think frostbolt was better, but that's my opinion. No, but. But yeah, freeze mage is in a. Uh, uh, Freeze Mage could have lethal next time, actually. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It will be lethal, believe me. Uh, it won't be necessarily lethal, but it could be. I think you Frostbolt the Shredder. I guess. And just slam your... Just go full... Yeah. Uh, you pew, just pew, pew, hope pew, for pew, the pew. base. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty uh, decent. That was so that great... Oh well. That actually costs nothing here. Uh Okay, why not? Don't you want to go face first? Because of the possibility of taunt? No, that's fine, you kill the taunt. <laughs> uh, Alright. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, so now, yeah, that's actually... Yeah, no, I guess you first ball first. Yeah, you yeah. try it with a 2-4, you play the alchemy. Alright, that's awesome. So okay. if I was playing Tempo Mage here, uh, four of the pink would have gone face. Uh, eh, yeah, so doesn't really. Their you opponent has on. There's almost no way you open can win. Yeah. Well, Even if you have stone like you just did, you have lethal. So, so right why you're here, oh, just yeah. trying to see which secret is. Oh uh, yeah, but it doesn't. Hello. Work. It's not gonna, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Oh, so, yeah, Citrus. Yeah. Landslide victory for Tempo Mage against Mitchell Church, which is, well, the reason Tempo Mage is played at all is because it's really it's strong. It's Actually, Druid could uh, uh, burn his uh, Roar into Counter Spell first. Yeah, but he was still have died. Yeah, but at least you could show up some skill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, well. What's but the score for now? 1 1, right? He still won in favor of Satris. He won with Patron against oh, no. uh, Druid. You know, okay. <laughs> with, uh, without Patrons. Without just... Patrons, yeah. yeah. With Desboid. Yeah. And, uh, and Mage Hero Power, and then uh, takes yeah. a win with a Mage itself. Mage Hero Power, like, actually ended up being better than Warlock Hero Power because he got double like that. Well, actually, it, it became. Faster than the world of hero power, yeah. just like this. Exactly. Uh, so now Satris is only does <coughs> only have uh, Warlock left. Mm -hmm. If it's you and he's playing against Maiden Shrewd and uh, Secret Paladin, well, my guess would be that Satris will win quite easily because Zeo is favored against both of them. If it's uh, Reno, that's far more difficult because. Druid is a uh, highly favored against Reno. Uh, if it's Secret Paladin, uh, it's like. I won't say 50 50 matchup, but that doesn't really represent well to get a matchup. It's more like, does the Reno get the cards in his counter? And if it's <laughs> Murdoch Paladin, well, uh, Reno is gonna lose really hard. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I guess uh, that sort of bug there. R R Rust TV just sent me an image. I don't know what does it does this image contain, but <laughs> don't put them on stream. <laughs> Just in case, set me. Yeah, Hello. sure. Well, my stream also uh, only takes the Hearthstone, so it won't take my browser. Okay, we don't okay. want to call the uh, so called stream to Twitch get banned. Yeah, sure. I I just give it to you. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what's that. Uh huh. Ah, oh, it's uh, who sent you this? Uh, Rust TV. 
but in which context? Because it's basically a screenshot, a pre-match screenshot. Ah, Razvice. Okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so he sent you this. So that's his. Yeah. yeah. So, so what? What does it? That's why I sent you this. So that's okay. Uh, but we are not uh, really. Yeah. So what? But did you tell you why? I mean, we're not. Um, anyway, we're not admin, so we can't really make any rulings. And... Yeah. I'll tell him that. Yeah, uh, I'll contact him. Well, this happens, so I'll take a quick off, Corey. Yeah, go off. I, I can, I'll take care of it. Sure, thanks. Okay, so it seems like the game has started. Uh, Boss is being half color. So we have uh, Sergei playing his warlock, and it looks like uh, Zoo. Yeah, it's Zoo. I can see Great Paladin. So matchup which really favors uh, Zulok. Uh, Zulok also have a really good start. He got his one drops. He got the Zoo. He got the uh, Im Gang Bot. Which is really strong against uh, Paladin, and he also have uh, Wolf Alpha, which synergizes with very well with the rest. So Paladin playing a Strict Ritz might uh, uh, Zuzu might want actually to play his Void Walker for sure because of uh, Normal Sacrifice is uh, really strong against Flame Imp. Uh, I think he still might coin the Flame Imp too. Oh, it's already a game here. Yeah, it's started. So uh, yeah, I've taken over. Yeah, the uh, so we have Zoo against Secret Baldwin. Secret Baldwin was a really bad start. Against Zoo is a really good start. <laughs> Alright. So let's drink some coffee. Yeah, no problem. So now the Zoo might be slightly afraid of playing against Noble Sacrifice. I think you should. I guess have you played. might dog, yeah, you might just play dog. Yeah, but if there's Noble Sacrifice, you're an into master, you're in a real good trouble. And what the uh, secret is? Avenge. It's Avenge. I, I think yeah. um, if I was you, I would have played, I would have found the Flame Imp. Yeah, I would try to, but I don't know, I would not rely on it. Okay, that's interesting. He's counting on the pings to generate a 1 1 which can deal with uh, Juggler. Like, yeah. Master becomes really awkward right now. Because basically, you're gonna spawn uh, as much as cre creatures for your opponent. Yeah, I mean, depends. The Juggler can hit the 1 1 again. You can kill one. Yeah, that's really good for. Uh, that's actually starting to get quite problematic for the two. I think he. he but you like still play that uh, flame of now. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Now, now you, you're gonna get the pings. And you so don't know what secret is yet. Oh no, no. You, you sniped out. That. Yeah, that's really good for the warlock. That's. I mean. Consecration, he yeah. needed help. Yeah, that was his way of coming back. Good juggle. That juggle was also okay. So, we might see a shredder. Well, I guess you. Jeans. Yeah, you have a very good curve, like shredder. Yeah, yeah, then really you have a uh, belcher, really then you have. Hello? Yes. Okay, I got. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I get a pop. He was polluting <laughs> a, a little bit, but that's fine. 
Okay, no, I, I got like somehow it took time to game. I finished for some reason. All right. Yeah, spectator mode. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've met. Oh, well, full closure, I guess. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah, Belcher is actually decent, but the Dario Farfa is going to. Probably you want to see the card first, no? What? You want to see the card first with that uh, Dark, Dark Peddler, no? Um, you can actually do that because um, it doesn't matter if you play the Dario Farfa immediately, yeah. since uh, if you play uh, the wolf first, you'll have kill it by one. So, yeah, you can do that. Mm -hmm. I don't think you s you actually want to Soulfire here because yeah no um, of course not. Off, I just good like you trade here doesn't really you don't lose an imp for, for that so yeah like, you draw first uh, okay yeah sure yeah that's probably his best position here too. Uh, is it yeah because you know that one of your uh, imp is gonna get killed. So, but uh, you you, you guarantee to have a uh, no actually you, no you could you could you could put the yeah. uh, dog between two imps and uh, yeah play and play the imp on the, the side. right side yeah like, yeah yeah right how much is Peter's okay. oh sea giant's pretty decent too <laughs> oh yeah I get what, wait but like do you attack or not That's yeah, yeah of course we do. But then it will be nine. Oh wait, ten, ten, seven or something. So oh, now you man. want to clear the paladin board to protect him, or at least clear the. Yeah, that's okay. That's it, fine. I don't like this positioning. You should have played it on the other side. But... Yeah. So, yeah, repentance and avenge, redemption and avenge. Yeah. Ah, uh, repentance was not I think that. How scared are you of a consecration? You, you, you kill the two one for sure. That's like that's no no question. Here. Stop asking question, please. And you, actually, you can clear oh, the knight. What? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, you clear the knight. That's good. That's you fine. also have say go. I go face, and I see got an eight one. Well, consecration is obviously insanely strong. Here. Mini consecration bots. is not there. Yeah, but mini bots are okay. Like you're playing some boards. You know your opponent is going to go face with the giant eyes away. Ah, uh, he's bluffing. Uh, yeah. He might take over the game now. Yeah, uh, I think so. Well, okay. Uh, I would uh. say he might. So oh yeah, now this card can mean a lot. And this corruption, so corruption will take care of buffed one. Uh, you might want to play Tantus Boar to play around the Noble Sacrifice, maybe. Uh, you just you just take and Corruption. Why would you care? Yeah, Corruption is good too. So yeah, you trade with a Wolf first. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Force one of the two two to trade with Giant. Go face with Giant for sure. Oh no, that might be a misplay. Why? Well, I we know cards, that's why. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, sure, you're still thinking of the trees, that's good. Yeah. Jumper. But it's not like killing someone, someone with bubble. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, well, he was trading with it anyway. So. Oh, is he going to just going 50 feet or 35? Wait, the third of three on that jungle? I think you should have spawned the one one first. Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. Never benched. I guess you better. Yeah, you play it now. Waste. A tempo. I was sick. I guess would be quite sick. Yeah, um, no. implosion is good too. Yeah. It's a two implosion this time. But nowadays, the consecration of Paladin is a dead card, basically. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm honest, but that's not really. Your Blessing of Kings, you put into 483. Yeah, you do. Well, you just go for you, it. Uh, right? You're Blessing of Kings. Oh, you, you, you buff is 3 3 and you go the hell out of it. You Absolutely. Fuck on your face. You just go face it. Like, you're putting it at 4, meaning that he's gonna be scared. He's yeah. gonna tap, he's gonna be scared of that. Yeah. Now, uh, I think that 
If it doesn't, the Argus or like double PO, that's nice. And I already played double peddler, so double PO is highly unlikely. It doesn't know if his opponent plays. Uh... Actually, his opponent has played Sea Giants, so you might not want to play. Uh... You won't play around Doom God. The thing uh... is, he did trade with Peddler last turn. If he would go. I think Red's right, is having luck. Yeah, if he would go face last turn, he would win now. I think that's why I got a disconnect. Yeah, awesome. that it seems like this. Otherwise, stole. you can't think about one card so much. Oh man, he may just lose the game because of the disconnect or something. Yeah, now he's going to spam my modes. Actually, a warlock takes it over. Well, not yet, but probably. Yeah, so Red's like got a hovering card bug. Well, he was in a good situation. Just told him to. Yeah. So do we do we call it like? Well, I guess we can call it a win for him. What do you think? Well, it's not uh, our. Yeah, it's not. It's not our responsibility to decide. But I guess if they are interested in our opinion, we can say that we can count this as a win for. Rust TV. Because we we saw what uh, Warlock drew, so that drown. Is it drew or drown? Sorry, uh, I was talking with Razvai because he contacted yeah. me, but I said um, he drew, he has drawn, if that was your yeah. question. Yeah, yeah. So he drew, I think. So we know what so, he, uh, he drew, so. That's just not. Yeah. Uh, that wouldn't be enough to prevent Little if he would have a normal connection. So I guess. Right. Yeah, but the issue that um, you basically don't get disqualified for a listen board when you have a disconnection, except that he doesn't have a listen board at the moment he disconnected. So yeah, we know that through the chain of events he would have won. Mm -hmm. So honestly, like I, was, I told him, he has to contact an administrator. Okay. According to the rules, uh, just let me check something. Uh, it's not up to me to decide it. It's not actually up to me to comment it. Uh, it's a shame to lose because of a disconnection. But the issue here is not probably a disconnection, it's actually a bug from the client. I think the first would be to rematch, but that's not up to me to choose, so I won't comment mm -hmm. further. Having played a lot of tournaments, I, I, played, I lost it due to disconnection, it happens. It's really annoying. It's really frustrating. I, I was about in a similar situation. Mm -hmm. I had a little over two turns as a Grush Shaman against Rogue and I disconnected. Oh man. I ended, I ended up winning the BO5, so it was okay, but. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, so uh, according to the rules. The player who disconnects or cancels the challenge will only be punished if the opposing player can prove he or she entered his or, his or her collection. Should this thing happen during duels, the player disconnected or left will be considered defeated. So if he's not entering his collection, he should be okay ish. Mm, Alright, we'll see. I think, I think those players are okay. Well, um, just admins take care yeah, of it. Let's, let's let the admin. Uh, can go on another game though? What do you think? Uh, ah, that would be a shame, but yeah, we can actually jump, try to jump on the game. 
uh, two piece wires for our spectators for already. Okay, so that's a shame though. Yeah, we was waiting for this game like quite a long time and then yeah. this game is just uh, became uh, like... Honestly clients this can be really frustrating sometimes. As you Okay, I think the game just finished, so I'm gonna see if we have if we can uh, jump on another game. Alright. First, let me see if he has an opponent. Uh yeah he does. I'm gonna link his link his sorry. Did you get the link I sent you? Yes. Okay, great. I got Dance D already, and uh, Shin Master also added yep. me. In Master, I'm sorry. Shin Master? I don't know. Oh. Okay. I don't know. Uh, Shin Master. Either. One. Master one. Okay, so they both savage in me. So, mm. oh, we got both players uh, have Hunter in the lineup. That's actually. And Sam Lasser has Rogue too. <laughs> so, let's pass out of it. Uh, then Sandy got Druid, Hunter, Warlock, and Paladin. So, three classic classes in a tournament with Hunter. That's actually quite interesting because. Hunter was considered to be very weak in the, uh, the last EU qualifiers. Then uh, Nyman won the final, had Hunter, a face Hunter in his uh, lineup. And Dr. Hippie, the finalist, also had Hunter. So Hunter has had a slight resurgence of popularity recently. And then Stenmaster has Warlock, uh, Warrior, sorry, Warrior, Druid, Hunter, and Rogue. So only two close in co uh, in common? Yeah, two plus in commons. We have a rock too, so that could be interesting. Uh, I don't think Tensi will want to ban the rogue because he has actually <clears throat> decent class against it, but uh, we should see. The game is about to start and we're waiting for yep. it. They're preparing. Uh, like they I guess exchanging screenshot. That's what it is. Yeah. Screenshot. <clears throat> Just take takes time though. Yeah, obviously like you have to uh, set up also think about the first deck you play, as I said, it's very important too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just about bans, so, um, Stenmaster has banned Density Warlock. Right. Well, Density has banned Rogue, I'm sorry, Thysis, you won't see any Rogue today. Uh, I mean, yeah. this round, at least. Probably today, too. Ah, uh, you mean that uh, <laughs> he'll lose because of it? Oh, man. Uh, so they've started. Let's get on the well, game. I'll, well, I'll be on uh, Danced because he has golden <laughs> okay so golden. we have I will hunt you down versus I will also hunt you down I can't see Dancy golf now I don't know they just yeah. identical beside uh, the, fact, the fact that uh, one has golden and uh, portrait yeah so in general in a Nagra mirror uh, the one who's playing first generally tends to win uh, given Sin Master Hand, we can actually deduce he's playing mid range Hunter, uh, while Density is playing Face Hunter. Yeah, that's matchup, Face Hunter is highly favored. The issue for Density is that he didn't have any one drop, which is actually very bad for him. 
Yeah, he probably fall behind behind a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna uh, especially since there's a hand master in ten master hand. He might be able to con it next turn. He also got the owl to deal with mass sentence, which is actually quite big. Uh, so, um. So, do you consider playing a spider now? Uh, I'd play owl for sure. Oh, yeah. Like, there's nothing more than you want to owl than uh, mass scientist. Uh, that's like. To me, it was, it's an obvious job. I like the trade because. Oh, <laughs> another one. You're protecting your. Uh... Okay. That's also interesting. He's playing for the board right now. Um, John, that could be interesting. The dogs. Eh. Right. Well, you have Juggler I here. Think there's a similar line of play here. You could play uh, Web Spinner and Out with Creeper. Like, that's 2 1. And so, yeah. yeah. Plus, you got Juggler, so with your Creeper, you can get value out of it. Your opponent is never going to kill a Creeper. You're pretty happy about it. Well, uh, uh, then is he going to go face? For sure. There is a case when you want to uh, kill the creeper. If you are on turn 5 and you have uh, your knife juggler and dogs. Yeah, okay, maybe. It damaged no. to face though. Yeah, actually, it's a bit tricky. Nah, it's not tricky. <laughs> you just no, juggle. Yeah, you juggle and you, you get a shit ton of value of your. With juggles, you, you can get three juggles. Uh, yep. That's one good. That's a good one. That's two. Okay. <laughs> and you just hope for the best with third. Yeah, you might want to trade the web scenery. I guess bit. you might put the weapon and go face with that. Uh, I think you play my scientist and you. Oh, uh, that's risky. Oh, man. Did you lose to unleash juggler here? No juggler yet. Yeah. I guess you have to wait juggler though. Maybe you can. Uh, uh, that's, that's so risky to wait juggler. Maybe you can. Uh, you kill the. Shot the... I think you kill the juggler and you go face with the rest. Alright. Uh, that's what I would do. Maybe you kill the creeper. Because you can. Well, you can guess he's, uh, uh, he's playing midrange and he might be playing uh, Hallmaster. But going face seems so place. Yeah, but now it's going to be punished and hard. Not too hard, though. Yeah, of course, because you have good shot. that board is actually relatively weak to um, explosive drop. Mm -hmm. And he still has to try because he doesn't want to take any face damage. Yeah. He, he coined out hero power. <laughs> I think I should use one more here. Oh, wow. Well. That's risky. Yeah, you don't uh, deny the uh, potential probability of uh, skill command. That's pretty good here too. So oh, he's man. expecting his opponent to have... Oh, and that's oh, bad. Oh, oh, that I can be beer. And this is a beer, though. Beer. Beer. Bear. Bear. No, it's beer. Beer is the thing you drink. <laughs> no, I don't. I think uh, I, I do. Yeah. Uh, but all the here is not exploding, it's also Snake Trap, so... Okay. And he got Acid Mo, which is probably in that matchup, so what thing you can get. Uh, okay, I think he plays Shredder, I tried to do the board. Oh, wait. Acid Mo? Why, he put that in the deck? Like, he got it of a Web Spinner. Ah, alright. He didn't play it. <laughs> I know it has insane uh, synergy with Hound and Turn 3, but yeah. 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 But th that's what I said, it's like one of the worst things you can get of Web Spinner in that particular matchup. If you get it out of Web Spinner against like Control Warrior, it can be okay. But... Oh man, just uh, look. Wait a minute, is he planning? No, he plays into Wally though. Uh... Yeah, he was maybe trying to set up a lethal for next turn, but that's... Well, he has uh, 5 damage next turn. Yeah, that's not enough. He's planning a 2 turn lethal, but will he survive this turn? That's the question. Oh, wait. Why? Why does what? he trade uh, dogs already? He's more damage, thanks to... Uh, because 
if you use the oh you mean why not yeah, squish yeah 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 uh he's playing around the leash oh wait no he's playing around the leash no why don't you quick shot face now because you got lethal eyes away next time oh all right but Seven. one card ah he has he has 12 damage if there's a freezing trap he has just needs he's okay too Yes, Liesl. It's okay. Uh, yeah, quick shots. No, I actually like that. Uh, he basically hero powered because okay, that's Liesl eyes away, but yeah. uh, hero power allows you to gain that two damage and be pretty much sure you get Liesl next time. So, a win for uh, uh, Face Hunter, which is, as I said, it's really it's highly favored against me. Yeah. So so we expected that. I think really surprising because face center is able to out tempo the Mitrion that quite hard. And honestly, it could have been much worse for the Mitrion. Okay. So that's a very soon for Density, you can send Master. Density still has Druid and Paladin. See what happens. Oh well. So, change of uh, scenery here. We have Paladin against Warrior. Oh man! Oh wow! The that woman Patron fights against, the work. Yeah, Patient against Secret Paladin. Would you prefer really woman or orc? Uh, oh. That's better. Oh, that's much better with Secret. So. And what would you prefer, wo woman or orc? What? Whom would you prefer, woman or orc? Orc. Orc. Yeah. Why orc? For because I'm a horde player, obviously. No. Just no, alright? Yeah. <laughs> I mean okay Scarer, so it's basically the Hitler of the World of Warcraft universe, but still. I'm for the hordes. I I mean uh actually Lady Liadrin is also a horde character. So she's not a human, she's a blood elf. Yeah, I know. So basically Basically, you're for the horde. I'm still for the horde, yeah. <laughs> now, as a warrior player, uh, uh, right. obviously, yeah, it's a good garage. Yeah, I like it. Who is a play here? Considering master for battle, but there Absolutely. is the cock hammer in the hand, so it will deny every possible thing. Yeah, but that means that if you play Skog Hammer, there's still a spot is killed. The issue yeah. for the warrior right now is that he has too many weapons, his hands, no way to use them, so. It's probably gonna. Oh, that's. Warrior cool. Syndrome, right? Hmm? Warrior Syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes you don't draw any weapons and you're. even matter. Like, you're playing in Zoo and you've drawn half your deck and still haven't drawn the weapon. That can be infuriating. And then you win the game because you don't need Patreon. Patreon. True story. Something. Yeah, because I was playing a <laughs> little way. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, Novel Sacrifice. Okay. He's going to well, attack into it, is it? Yeah, but this bite is gonna clear it. So. I'd actually go maybe attack with this bite first. Don't know. I'd expect a Novel Sacrifice. Mm, probably, yeah. Probably you should attack with this bite first. Yeah, no, I, I, I'd probably say that because I know the cards. Um, yeah, of course. The thing is, you don't know what he's playing, so... But oh, yes, um, Battle Race gives you. I Thank guess you. this combination of secret is uh, the one you should play around, so actually... That's pretty clear for me to act this way. Like, the issue is that he wants, maybe he wants to go for his patron on turn 6, meaning that he'll uh, waste... Uh, a charge and the warrants. Because he has a move. Yeah. And you don't really want to delay your patron too much. Unfortunately, Paladin draws very bad. Yeah. Just absolutely bad. And you play Master for Battle on turn 5 when you expect uh, to get Unleash of Patrons. Oh, that's pretty good. <coughs> that's amazing, right? That's amazing, I said. Yeah.
still no man on the horse though. That's turn six and no man. Because you're making if the paladin had um Mr. Chandra, that would actually make it seem really awkward because uh with the weapon uh eh, actually I guess you just have no choice, you just have to concede. Yeah, I don't think you can see it <laughs> yet, at least. Still got normal sacrifice. No. But the uh, normal sacrifice will go to the weapon. Yeah. And you get uh, like 11 damage to the face. Oh, wait, no, not 11. It's your bot winning on board control, so. Oh, yeah. Board control, so. Then it's got I mean, a, it, goes it can be at HP and be like, yeah, that's fine. He missed attack with a weapon, though. <laughs> Double whirlwinds. Yeah. Why not? That doesn't do. <laughs> yeah, now oh. we can't. Yeah. So that's the still damage. go face up for sure. Totally don't trade with that. You just like uh, make uh, a half of your opening. That works. You can also. Yeah, but there's bite. Yeah, you does bite. But the issue is that now he has to delay his patient from one turn. There's a Tyrion and coming. That's just the thing. The an answer though. Oh, maybe it will be clear take. We'll see. Well, at least one juggle is needed. Oh, he's taking the risks. Oh, oh my goodness. So what of the. What are the odds of that even happening? Uh, not that low actually. There's three juggles, it's one in eight. So it's not like that and like it's only uh, 12, <laughs> yeah, 12.5% 12 chance of happening. It's not like, I mean, <laughs> it's not that huge. But still, like, one of eight I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. That's, a, that's an lucky, and I think he made the right play. But. Oh man, this bomb. Yeah. Sadly. Oh, that. Uh, so he. Yeah, went. it's, it's lethal. So. Yeah. You just attack, you then you uh, do something. Another patron winning without taking it. Uh, maybe only skilled players played. Oh. Honestly, Secret Paladin had a really bad start. Yeah. This can prove that Secret Paladin doesn't always go mini bot into Gem Master, into Shredder, into Nose, and into. No. Good Sometimes secret... you fizzle and you get wrecked. Good Secret Pals, I always do. Yeah, the man on the horse didn't come in turn, turn 6, that was sad. Yep. So Midrash Paladin against Secret... I, I don't know that much, to be honest. Wait, what? It's Secret Paladin against Midrash Hunt. This match, well, I guess I it's I... favorite uh, to... I play for the Paladin, honestly, but I don't know the matchup, so I can't... Uh... Me neither. Me neither. Well... No, I would say that Hunter can do. Uh, the only thing that Hunter needs is a good start, and then he can and just easily hunt. take over the game. Well, Mad Scientist is pretty good stuff. It's really strong cards. It's yeah. basically the only two jobs that can uh, uh, outmatch actually uh, shield in minimum. Yes. Only. Uh, you just go face, exactly. Oh well, well. the beer drop is played, so maybe some value is coming. Yeah, that's for sure. Like, yeah, you, you kind of expect your opponent to be playing either something like a uh, juggler or um... those jugglers. Uh... Or Master, that's why you wouldn't play um, your own juggler. 
Uh, this time you might have to. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. It, it will buff creature, so you just lose this game. Yeah, that's actually a good question. Do you play uh, Unleash a lot? Uh, no, you like... play nothing. And you lose. Oh, wait. You can't afford to play nothing. That oh, matchup I... is all about tempo, so. Yeah. Well, you can quick shot something, but then you have four three and one one. Um, that might actually be the play here. Yeah. Oh, if you have snake trap, actually, yes, yeah, snake trap. Yeah. So. Mm, yeah, probably you should play off through it. No, uh, that's a mistake. You, you, you kind of want to play um, unleash with juggler though. You're gonna take a lot of damage, but the point is that you really want to. Uh... Yes, I know, but still, you can't afford to. Oh, that advantage is huge. So that's 10, 10 damage. Oh no, 9 damage. Still, this is bad drop, so. I'm sure she's gonna be pretty valuable here, to be honest. Oh yeah, Unleash is going to be huge. So you just play Unleash? Yeah, for sure. You need that coin now. Oh, that juggle is bad. Yep. Noble Sacrifice. Actually, it's actually decent because it, it both buffs the 2-3 and you also provide that juggle. Uh, yeah. And it got I like it out. because if it kills a snake, you get better Unleash. Yeah. The question is, do you want? Yeah, you have to unleash because your HP are getting slightly low. But you might want to hold on to that. Yeah, it's too much of a risk. Mm. You could have gone greedy and played the shredder and just hope for. Oh, Mr. Challenger next turn. That's gonna be good for him. <laughs> yeah, that's slightly little... good. That will do, that will also oh, the sorry, situation. Oh, it's decent too. Uh, I tried with a weapon first, to be honest. Oh, oh you can coming. go face. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Going face is okay. Face is okay. It's okay. Face. Oh, man. Oh, oh this wow. is This is the answer for the... I'm in. But this yeah, is not exactly. So, actually, uh, oh wait, tricky. it can be sniped. Yeah, it can be, but will it be? That's the question. Probably yes. Thirty-three percent. No. Do you trigger the secrets now? Ah, uh, you've seen two, two normal sacrifices, so you know this no no. So you yeah. just go face. Yeah, just go face. You got a lot of damage. You got. You have damage in your hand, you know that he's not gonna kill your board. Tonight, at least. Well... Completely is... Oh, 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 Dr. Seven. He needs weapon. Well, Dr. Seven does nothing here. They he's think done. that he needs a 0-7 now. He's gonna clear his juggler and the um, arm master, for sure. Uh, can he threaten Lethal next and No, he can't. Uh, you can't afford not to trade that's the issue. For the... Yeah. You you know you you know you're pretty much dead if you don't trade. On the other hand, if you do trade, you're not uh, going 14, to win. Yeah, you can Oh <laughs> There you go. That's... I guess it's little already, isn't it? Uh, uh that's uh yeah it is. Nine. No, he's two he needs he doesn't have a beast. Wait. So it's not... He has. Well, yeah, but if he plays the beast, he's... Uh, that's fine, you quick shot, that's 3 damage, then you kill command, that's 5 damage. Yeah, that's... yeah, but... Then you... It, so that it's 5 damage, you need to play Hunt and Creeper, that means you can't... Wait... Oh, so but, it's yeah, sure. It you is just little. Just place here, settle beast of the next... Uh, I don't like that. Yeah, like, it was lethal. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't have played uh, Hunt and Creeper. I know. Is it lethal? 4 plus 5, 10, 10 plus. It was 12, yeah, it was one of. Yeah. 
Yeah, I agree. Oh man, if he plays now, they... That was a misplay. Oh he man. Missed... Yeah, that had like... Oh my god, he missed the two damage. Like oh, seriously? Like seriously, how would you misplay this bad on the tournament? Well, anyways, you concede. People are well, no, you don't concede. No, I mean, that's that's still a real issue because it's a really sticky board, and it might probably won't get punished for that. Yeah, so you can sit now. Well, it's true silver. Yeah. Yeah, that's really that's silly, so, but. You go face. You go face with two silver. Sure. You don't put anything on board because of dogs, maybe. Uh, yeah. If you put anything on board, you're dead. You understand? Well, yeah, exactly. That was still a quite big misplay from Sin Master. Yeah, that's correct. You just don't play your beasts after you played. No skill command. There you go. So it's two zero. Oh no, it's one one, right? Uh, it's two one, no. No. Is oh, it's one one. My uh, that's the one with the. Uh... Yeah. 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 I'll be right back in a moment. Alright, I guess I'll... Oh, wait. Game is on. So. That's the Paladin versus Druid, though. We'll see what it can bring us. Paladin is very... Lucky with his hand, I believe. You might even consider to keep the of the month because that's the one of the best answers in the game for the one of the best answer to like Druid of the Claw and uh, five uh, ten uh, threes. But also on the other hand, the Druid has uh, Pinkmeister and then. Uh, uh, Darnas, Aspirant, and uh, Wild Growth, which is pretty decent hand. So the redemption is played by Paladin in order to uh, resurrect that uh, mini bot when it's necessary. But you might consider now to put the uh, yeah, knife juggler into action. But we know that it's going to get punished. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'll say Living Roots is pretty strong here. Yeah. And then he just uh, hero powers it off. Yep. Absolutely. You don't want to let uh, Juggle leave. It's too bad because he could have innovated his Truth of the Claw. Yeah. But... I don't know what now the Paladin is actually in a dire situation because uh, that Donas is going to live another turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and grand value. Yeah, I think here you hero power wild growth. Absolutely. Ah. Uh, okay. No? Why? I don't know. Well. Maybe if you are uh, aiming to finish game fast, you can not play like this, but... Yeah... It's also a decent tempo play here, you put minions on board, you try to have something that can trade off with the uh, main body of a... Uh, of Shredder, but... Yeah... Do you really think that you can finish game fast so you can rely on this play? Ah, uh, Dr. Boom on turn oh, 5. Oh man, just well, I guess, anyways, you had to yeah. play this. No, you don't trigger. You, you cannot expect an event here. So, you don't trigger it. Or. Yeah. 
All right, the spider is dead. That's okay. Spider down. Yeah. Vulture is gonna force him to trade into the Avenge, so that's actually decent. Well, you might have drawn that uh, Keeper of the Groove. So that'd yeah, be nice. that would have been pretty strong. Especially to kill, uh, to deal with the... Uh... Oh no. Oh, now you turned up with Street of the Cloud to protect your boom. Uh, sure. Yeah, you do. That seems like like a very straight win for the druid now. Yes. So if you'll be to one into favor of the Steam Master one. Yep. Absolutely. So he now he needs to hit a power. No. No, he doesn't hit a power. Oh that was misplaced. Yeah. Nothing. Now he can't he play. Or oh, uh, at least yeah. Yeah, yeah. Use that one mana. The issue for us, Baldin, is that he can't kill the boom right now. Okay, he still can't actually. Okay, but that won't save the situation. Yeah. It's <laughs> bad. Absolutely. <laughs> well played from the druid. Doesn't have lethal yet, but. But uh, your opponent doesn't know that you don't have lead also. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, the thing is that I would have... Nah. It was... Oh, okay. oh yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. there's a hero power, so it's easy. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> that was silly. Uh, so yeah, it's Lisa. Easily. Very fast game, though. Hmm? Very fast game. Absolutely. Just finished like um, seven turns. Yeah, Secret Power is proving once again that it's not that as reliable as one can think. The problem is he uh, removed um, Keeper of Uldaman from his hand. Mm. He removed Keeper. I'm not against it because you want to have your own tempo early on. Keep up with the man's rates earlier and later. I don't know. Not the same thing for. Can you remind uh, me the match which we were watching? Uh, Dancy vs. Ten Master. Uh, uh, just so, remove me from spectators. Okay. Did you do the same? Did he do the same to you? Not as far as I'm concerned. As far as I know, not. Oh, maybe. Oh. Wait. I don't have him No, he, he got actually disconnected, I think. Because, uh, yeah, there was a disconnection on one side. But if then, he... then, then he disconnected, so he didn't kick your heart. He just... Oh, oh, he just... No, I guess he just removed us from France. That's what... Yeah, actually... I can't see him anywhere. Yeah, maybe, yeah. but... Uh... Well, if you're going to DC... Uh, it's not like uh, going to inform you as you were kicked out. Yeah, and that depends. I can be quite buggy. The issue that I don't see density in and any uh, either. Oh yeah, whatever. I don't yeah. see him. And but Stun Master is in the hangout in the main menu, so. So we better sh uh, find an another game for us. Just. And can you give me an in for? Uh, yeah, no. Oh, wait a minute. No, actually. Oh, wait a minute. How far are we are on tournament? No, no. Uh, I, I wasn't wrong. Uh, it was 2 1 before that game, so oh, Stan yeah. Master won. 2 1 with a warrior against Palmy. Yeah. Oh, Without yeah. the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Ah, uh, so we're starting to get into the final, into to the quarterfinal at least. Let's see if we can find a match. Oh, it's quarterfinal uh, now. Okay, we we got we, we got uh, quarterfinal here. Still with ten master. Uh, send you the. Sure.
I hope I will be able to open it. I sent you the battle deck too. Yeah, you, you, you sent? Yeah. Big film. Oh, okay. Big film. So Mikefield plays whom? Uh, he's playing against Scent Master, so okay. it's a winner of the previous team. That game, all right, he hated me. Yep, same. Oh. All right, they're going into a oh, challenge menu, duel menu. Let's have a look. Give me a second, please. Uh, I want to have a look at the the lineup. So, as we've seen earlier, Stan Master has Warrior Druids Hunter, and uh, so it was Major Hunter and Rogue. Big Phil is running Warrior Shaman Warlock and Paladin. So, rather classical lineup. We don't see that much Shaman though. Uh, probably Agro Shaman, which is really strong against both Hunter and Rogue. Mm -hmm. It's also pretty strong against Control Warrior. But, um, so I don't think that uh, McField will, will ban the Rogue. So I'm pretty sure you'll be happy to see Rogue. Yay! <laughs> but this hand is like... utterly awful. Give me a minute, I'm not on the game yet. Okay. So, yeah, Secret Paladin against... Uh, against Midgard Hunter. Might work out, well, but... Oh, he's playing Strangled Tiger. That's interesting, too. I want that uh, Web Spinner. Oh. No, maybe that's no. just Web Spinner and... Uh... I don't, I don't think so. Given the state of the board. So, um. It's actually pretty harsh to the answer here. You need to know. Noble yeah. Sacrifice the Avengers is a reason. Yeah, yeah, but you needed to um, Animal Companion into town, so that's yeah, the only that thing so. you could uh, care about. Plus, uh, Cog Hammer is gonna <laughs> be really strong with that 6 6. Yeah. So actually, we have no way to win now. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, is decent. Feel some damage face. If you get that owl, you're pretty. You're in pretty good shape. I think you use that divine shield to kill the huffer. So basically, it's better than Misha because. Um, because it's already dealt attacked. full damage. Yeah. Face. Uh, now it's a bit tricky for them. Uh, yeah, it's actually tricky for them. Yeah. Doesn't have any way to kill that 6 6. That's pretty bad. And there is a 10 4 for the Paladin. Mm -hmm. It's a classic 10 4 being Shredder. Um, so, yeah, that's. You could play uh, Eagle Longbow, but. Doesn't really seem to do anything. Right? You can't do anything. You just maybe put uh, the weapon in your hand and then just pass. Maybe. 
could also try to quickshot it with your power, try to kill it next time, but I think Eagle Hombo is the best tempo play, at least. You might choose... I'm gonna take a lot of damage face, but at least it's the best tempo play. You might um, uh, also keep a uh, quick shot in case of drawing if you want to. Yeah, I don't think that will happen given his hand. Or oh, not man. very late. Yeah, that's really strong too. Let's just concede bottom. Yeah, probably. Yeah, unless it's not gonna do much. Now he'll find out that he can't kill that for 7 and Yeah, seven. he's gonna kill it, but he's gonna spend all his resources to kill it. Like, which is really annoying for him. He's gonna overkill it by a lot. He's gonna kill 2 3, but he'll be at 10 HP. 7 after next turn with a shred on the 1 1 support. Oh, he could play a. Uh, actually, Keeper is strong too. Ah, <laughs> there's a juggler. Keeper does, Just yeah. Makes it even better. Yeah. That seems like an easy win for the Paladin. 4 damage face and then it's 6. That's it? Oh no, it's actually 8 damage uh, face. It's almost, no, uh, yeah. It's 1 for the Paladin. The Hunter should just concede right now just to avoid showing any cards. He should, uh, sh he should have conceded like 5 turns before. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't show any specific cards. Yeah. No silence, silence would do. Uh, silence would not have saved him though. He was at 4 HP. No, I mean silence at the beginning of the game. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, Shaman against Patron. So Shaman has a really good start again. Um, Patron is slightly favored in that matchup because he runs Armor Smith. He doesn't run Harrison, um, and, but he also has some towns like Dreadcorsa. Uh, and can also pressure the Shaman much harder. Oh man, he just goes hard more than Gundo. Yeah, he wants. Uh, you want. Oh, that's uh, more unusual Shaman. Okay, interesting. Shaman is really, he, he really hardly the gun for armor smith and weapons, uh, I think. Mm -hmm. So, Creeper might indicate that uh, Mikefield is playing. Uh, yeah, he's playing Juggers then, too. Uh, more unusual Shaman lists, which probably runs also um, Flame Tomb Totem. Oh yeah, I like that. I must miss this here too, gain some time here. Yes. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. my mic almost. I was gonna go face with the. I like it. Ah, too bad. Ah, okay. That seems like story. correct play though. Ah. Oh no, he didn't go face, unfortunately. Ah, uh, that's <laughs> Warwick's coming once and too late. Sadly for him. Yeah, execute is good here. But you're still in a um, rough shape here. Mm -hmm. You're already on 23 HP though. Yeah. No, Shaman is going. Oh, he's trading there. Yeah, given the weapon that's. Why not? Yeah. The weapon uh, uh, will already take care of it, so why don't you? But the problem is that uh, playing. Uh, Slam now can clear the free free on two. two. Yeah, uh, I like playing frozen here because basically allows you to get some pressure on the board. You see the warriors, so you still got the hero powers. You can now uh, kill you uh, up. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, doesn't. Yeah. There yeah, the is the lava burst, yeah. which just burst out that unit out of the board. Now it's much harder to. Do. We can have like I don't have to go to play. Oh. I mean, it's still at 17 HP, so as long as there's no Doom Hammer, uh, I would have played fair all over to Doom Blunt. I don't know. Well, he plays on curve. Good. Oh, Execute is also a good draw. He goes uh, Acolyte. Uh, um, you don't go for two Acolytes, right? No, no, you, you go for that and Execute. Sure. Okay. Again, you are at 16 HP, it's manageable. As long as you don't see the memory, you're okay. Probably you want another world build now. Yeah, that would be strong. Yeah. 
Not insanely strong, but it'll be okay. But you draw five cards, so you might draw something good. Well, it's not as good. Ah, uh, oh. uh, the uh, dash by. Ah, uh, yeah, drawing. Yeah, drawing is okay, but did you use that? Uh, okay. You 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 want to play dash by so. He also attacks. Yes, I won't really change much, but... No. I don't like that trade if he does it. Please don't like it. No, oh, how much is that? 5 plus... So close to lethal and... Uh... 8. No, uh, he's 3 of lethal. Sorry? 3 of lethal. Yeah, yeah, but... Yeah, I don't like trading that gun. So, no second arms miss, no town, so... No, oh, yeah, you have town, so. but... Yeah. But you're really low HP. Yeah, just one, uh... Whatever spell can take you over. So, the shaman right now is one of lethal. And that's... So oh, yeah, that makes it. Yep. Easy win. Yeah, yeah, that's why Warx came one time tonight. Would have been really good else, but... Oh man, he's not BMing him, unfortunately. Slightly BM. No, Didn't you need to play the Rockbiter. You need to attack uh, without Rockbiter and then put Rockbiter on and then hit. <laughs> that would be a count. So, is that... Uh... 2-0? It's 2-0, uh, yes. Uh, feel. Mike Phil won with Paladin Shaman. Yeah. So Stan Master has to basically pick uh, Mike Phil Warrior with his Warrior, his Druid, and his Hunter. It's actually not that bad because mm -hmm. um, Druid should be favored against. Uh, let's see. What kind of. Okay, it's. Uh, it's... Ah, you see. Like, it's Patreon, so... It's better for him than if it were released. Like, if he had... If he was playing... If he was playing, um... Control Warrior, it would be really in bad shape because of Hunter and Druid. Yeah. But, still okay against Patreon. Why not? Oh, you just use Flare for draw. Yeah. Didn't want to play a creeper. I'm not sure I like that play. Well, cre creeper does nothing on the board. That's the main problem. Oh, actually, it was okay. But no, it wasn't. Because you put your creeper on one HP instantly. Yeah, but so it can just die to whatever whirlwind effect. Sure, but it's always gonna be that way. Uh, what? And uh, in this shape, being in the hand is just a uh, 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 skill command actuator too. That's bear trap. Okay, he's lucky it's not bear trap to be honest. Yeah. That was bear trap. The gotten Next drop is here. Oh, job that uh, shredder. is a pretty good drop here. Sure. And next time you can play a uh, um, web spinner and. Uh, oh no. And it's going to be a lot. Yeah, but there's a uh, well wind <laughs> and a uh, night light. Oh, I think wow. you should still wait to see what's going on. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna have to play his execute, which is pretty good for some of them. Well, I don't think you have to. Yeah, you do. Well, you can't want to take that. You, you can take that. five damage. Why not? You don't have armor space in the play, you... You also control deck in that matchup. Not the beatdown, so... I like that execute. Alright. Obviously, against Simon, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, that's why. You can't just take 5 damage and then slam it down. Yeah, but the thing is that Simon isn't like the magical solution to... Um, uh, uh, execute is not the sol magical yeah, solution yeah, to Simon. Yeah, of course. Correct. That hyena could get big. 
so here you play uh, uh, Beer Trap? Well, Beer what? Trap and uh, Animal Companion, so this sort of, sort of things. Companion, to be honest. I mean, for what? I would have gone for a Creeper and Animal Companion. Bird Trap, it's like, okay. Ah, oh, Uffer is good. Hmm, that's a it's damage. Good. Oh no, that's not yeah, that's a funny, damage. But he's also a weapon. Yeah, he has another one, so no worries, I guess. Yeah, just slightly risky. Oh, uh, yeah. That's Bear Trap, so you can clear, but you get 12. Oh no. What? Oh no, I said. Yeah, but why? Oh, uh, unleash. That can be quite strong. Mm, yes. Maybe not this time, but. Uh, now you could play weapon, could face, hero power. You put your opponent 7. No, so it, you yeah, you put him on 7. That's correct. You also have a switcher town coming, so. We probably <laughs> shouldn't. Play anything on board yet? Yeah, I think so too. I mean, you could play Haina and go for the for the Helms, but it's not that good. Yeah, of course. The uh, Haina doesn't do anything here. You just need to pray that he is not uh, setting town next turn or killing you. Oh no! Yeah, you can play the Haina. Yeah. Right, just giving you a few HP. But, yeah, your plan uh, is basically. Your opponent is basically... T uh, okay, Creeper, why not? Yeah. Almost is huge here, so... That's a huge misplay. The, uh, creeper? Yeah, I think so too. I don't think playing anything was a good play. I think both Amospis and the Sounds is huge for the warrior. So... Basically, guarantees him to be safe. <laughs> Five uh, of lethal, so uh, skill command would do it. No, no, no skill command. Yep, 15, 18. Oh no, yep, uh, uh, quick shot also would do it, right? Is it 12? Yeah, there's no way of getting this one. No, quick shot would. Why do you think that? Because you trade your weapon into 3-3. Three, three. Oh no, you, you summon... Uh, 7 pounds. pounds. Yeah, you trade, you then you hero power, and then you all uh, hounds going to face, and then you just quick shot, so it's 12. Yeah, but she gets one ammo for the, from the dread courser. Uh, so that's right. one of Oh uh, yeah. Huh. But still. But still, like unless she's a good, yeah. But with that uh, skill command, it would be guaranteed. The issue is that while all these hands will go face, yeah. next turn there will be a huge a lot of trades and there's an armor missing board. So. Oh, yeah, so let him just play it. 15, 6, yeah. Um, the warrior could have lethal if he top decks a uh, whirlwind or an inner rage. Yeah. That's not it's just still good. It's a That's downfall. a whirlwind effect, but kind of. Most yeah, but you can't activate it, and you're too scared of. T you're too scared of a. Uh, of a. Uh, how to put it? Of a silence to play it and only rely on it. So, I think you just clear the board, gain, regain the armor. Okay, why not? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, it doesn't open because of the uh, lack of the place on the ground, on the board. If he's going full phase up, you choose it. Yeah, but he I wants, guess. He won't, he won't, he won't, he won't but. Oh, wait, did he. Oh, he's going for a trade. Yeah, just like. Well, of course, you gain sort of armor and all that thing, but. That's why, like, if the hounds have to trade with the one tree, you can still you gain a lot of armor. Mm -hmm. And uh, you should have least next. Yeah, you should have, but uh, then might not actually, work out. No, it doesn't have least next. It's a warrior. Do you I consider mean. put a boom on the 
battlefield in order to let the uh, bombo yeah. explode and they sure. kill something. I mean, there's only now, there's only one history patron now. So for sure. Well, the issue is that the warrior is at uh, 19 HP now. Uh, yeah, 19. Oh, yeah, no, you, you killed the Shishri, that's smart too. And that's Lisa. It's 3 0 for my film. That's very well played. Yeah. Well played. Well played. So, we got a next match going to be a semi final, right? Yup. But, uh, no, 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 it's gonna be a quarter, uh, it's gonna be a quarter final, probably. Another quarter final? Yes. Uh, so we have to wait for the game to finish. It's 2-2 right now, so it should end okay. quite early. It's involves Atris, uh, playing against Xenom, and, uh, well, uh, the winner will be playing in Zodiac. So we'll just have to wait for that. All right. There's a game on going into the... So yeah, this has been like it's a s oh wait a minute. No, it's the second quarter final to finish. There's another one going on, and there's an uh, the last one is about will start in a in a few minutes. Alright. But if it will be uh uh, quarterfinal finishing right now, so we can wait a little and uh, see the semi-final. Because if we are going for the fourth uh, and last uh, quarterfinal, we will miss the semi-final. So I would uh, suggest yeah, but to the wait. other quarterfinals is at the stage we don't know about, so uh, we might wait for uh, half an hour to get that semi. Ah. Uh -huh. But no, you say that's like two two, you no? Know? Uh, or are they? Yeah, but that's uh, actually uh, two quarterfinals are finished, but they are on the dif they are on different brackets. Oh, so see. basically, uh, the two semifinals already have one player, but yeah. uh, there's a quarterfinal ongoing. Yeah. And oh. there's another one which should start in a few minutes. It's fine if we miss a uh, semi. So we, yeah. we, any, either way, we miss one semifinal. So whatever. Yeah. That's correct. So let's just wait for Sentries and Xenom. The problem is that they are in different brackets. Ooh. The semi finals, yeah. Semi finalists. Yeah, that's what I yeah, that's what I said. Okay. So okay. basically now we'll spectate probably the lower bracket semi final. Uh waiting for one of the quarter to start. Uh, for the last quarter the final start and we'll have the final. Alright. Oh, uh, we're on track. Don't worry. So, do you want to play a game or something? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Why not? Yeah. And now uh, I'll go get a coffee from, for myself. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, sure. I'll just put you on screen and go. You're playing ranked, right? Uh, yeah, that's gonna be to, rank, to be ranked. I haven't played that much right now in this season, or so I'm not really highly ranked for now. But I'm gonna play Zeus this time. Oh boy, <laughs> it's a priest. It's really not a match if you want to see. Let okay. me seasons. Enjoy uh, your ga your games. No. Yeah. That's a pretty poor looking starting end. Flaming is great because you want to apply pressure, it trades with it prevents him. Okay, that's much better. The issue against Priest with Steel is that first they got this really good ball piece and on top of that you can't really like 
He plays Armachar. I can't really afford not to trade with it. I might do it though. He still has coins, so he could be playing. Uh, eh. I got double CJ, and that's really awful. I'm gonna be greedy because I got a really bad hand, and I need to take all the risks I can right now. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I still can play RPC. That's fine. But that's really bad. For me. Oh, flash heal. It's not using his coin, that's interesting. Jailer. I want to play Jailer here. I can't kill it if I play Jailer, so I'm gonna tap. Just release my egg. It's annoying because you want to keep your egg as a... as a... basically a guarantee you can see who is, but here I don't really have a choice. Hitting self. I'm not sure I like it. If I get something like. Oh, Gormoxen. Great. Uh, <laughs> you could be playing Belichinix. I'm gonna try it. It's a really awful matchup, though. Now, I, I say I play against Belcher, but around Belcher, but most priests don't play it. Right, if he has Orkanite Hierical here, it's okay because it doesn't really get a lot of value on a cube clear of the Orkanite. Um, oh well, that's fine. That's actually pretty good. Um, I'm gonna tap here. Now, well, next time I can play my C Giants, I'll have to be wary of Light Bomb, which is probably gonna be played. Issue being that Light Bomb is going to basically clear my board. Might cut out. Good Carnites, also um, Cabal. Okay, that's fine. I mean, that's really annoying, but it's manageable. Don't want to play Gormok here right now. I'm gonna play take Pure because it's really good against. Okay, I need to burst him down at some point. Like right now, I got. 12 damage burst? Could be lethal if it doesn't play anything. 4, 9, yeah. If it doesn't play anything and doesn't heal itself, which is impossible. Well, for example, if it plays Light Bomb, eh, I have to if it plays Light Bomb, I'm in a really bad shape. But it might not look like a really good Light Bomb frame. So you might not play it. Uh, hmm. Interesting. I mean, does he have a circle or not? Probably. If he has a circle, he can clear my whole world. At this point, I'm ready to fall behind. If he doesn't, well, I'm in pretty good shape. Because I'm never gonna kill it. I mean... Eh, it's tough. I might just want to kill the... The juggler there. But if you have circle, there's no point in uh, hesitating. Actually, the pink could kill. What? You know enough? Uh, that's sad for him. Well, I guess I win then. Having lost my previous game to DC, I'm not really. Ah uh, yeah, I still feel bad for him. But yeah, that's really not fancy as one. 
Okay, so our next game should be starting soon. I might actually have started. Yeah, as I've started. Uh, I'll have to wait for Vice to be back though. I'm gonna have the, his opponent and I'll try to tell you what's happening. So, uh, Cetris is playing against Zodak. Um, they've both been Druid, so they Cetris have Warrior, Warlock, and Mage, and Spalding, Warlock, and Mage. Uh, setup that might be good for Zodiac, but yeah, not sure because Secret Paladin is pretty, pretty not bad against you and, uh, and Freeze Mage. Uh, well, Warrior might, yeah, it's a bit tricky to tell now. So I'll just tell you what's happening right now. I only have Satri Sanity in my side. Uh, he's playing Freeze Magic against Secret Baldin. He got um, a Doom Saiyan board against a Tyrion and a 4 2 and a Belcher. Uh, Mage is still at 21 HP, so he's quite safe. He got an Extraza. So he's probably going to an Extraza his opponent uh, with an Avenger. So his Baldin basically has a 4 4 on board Towns and a 5 and a Nash Binger. I it's about to get an extra that. Okay, um, the game I started, I don't have uh, any message from Zodiac, but um, the first game is on course. Should be won by Satris. Alright. We'll head. Uh, I'll contact him after that first game is gone. He's done. Oh yeah, he pops him. That's actually... Wow. Both have just won the game. It depends. It's well, yeah, he, but he, yeah, Lost Up is huge. Uh, he needs Ice Block. Okay. Nothing. Oh, wait. Yeah, he has Lethal, like. Yeah. Alright. Already 10 mana. Oh yeah. So, 1 0 in favor of uh, Satris. Winning uh, a favored match, that was Freeze Mage against uh, Secret Paladin. Mm -hmm. Wait, music started to lag. Let me know when you know the Zodiac's ID, uh, but I'm like, I mean... So, new game starts. Um, patron versus. What is 
probably secret paladin. Let me check. Yep. So yeah, the secret paladin we've seen last round. At least we saw Glimpse of. With uh, really awkward starts, to be honest. Uh, I'd say both like are really, are not really in a, not really have the have the, have the dream start. Mm -hmm. What about Zodiac? Do you see his art? Yep. I don't. Can you write him to Edna? Have uh, eyes on him very soon. The blessing of kings is actually pretty decent. Mm -hmm. uh, it allows um, him to trade favorably against that Amos Miss and being out of reach of the War Axe. Cold Crown is gonna clear it, and Redemption sadly is going to only to spawn a 1 1. So basically, a 1 mana Wisp, not Infinite Battery, sorry. Uh, yeah, Joker can be. Could be decent. I think, oh yeah. I think 500 must. Yeah. Okay. He's oh. keeping a uh, struggler and master for next one. I All like right. it. I finally see the hand of him. Right. The pace run again. Oh my goodness. Will I see some rogue at least? <laughs> Not in that round, none of them is playing rogue. Noobs. <laughs> Patron is a decent pickup here. You don't have execute though. Yeah, but you can see you can clear the um, Spelcher. I mean, not with charge. <laughs> no, actually, if you uh, attack attack the Belcher with your weapon yeah. in your rage and whirlwind, you get. Oh yeah, but you need to spend the uh, inner rage. I'm not there. necessarily gonna play around the band, so it's still fine. Because basically, uh, when you do that, you'll have a really huge Belcher, but still a lot of patron. Oh no, that's fine. That one miscalculated though. Oh, no, that's fine. You need to roll in last to make your thing. No. No? Okay. Not with two in a rage because if you play double in rage first, you will have your um, seven one, or you will have a patron dying, or you will feel you both too, too much. So that Consecrate might actually be strong against it. Okay. Oh, now you draw. Or maybe you attack first, you damage yourself, and then you draw. <laughs> no? Mm. Yeah, you sure you should attack for sure. Oh my god. Why didn't he? Okay, you can it's fine. Finally he understands that. Okay. So now that was It depended on how we wanted to trade. I understand, but still. I guess he's got a burn one card, right? Mm. He's got a burn one card. He should. Um, nope, yeah. he has nine cards in hand. 
On the other hand, he should have traded the 3 into the 1 2. No, he should have traded the 5 2 into the 1 2. He would have had a mm -hmm. 5 1 instead of a 3 1 on board. Mm -hmm. uh, does he have legal? Yeah, he probably has lethal. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Sure. I don't think there's any need to calculate it right now. Oh, well. You just yeah, you go place with the Patreon, you go all the way and you got diesel. That's how it works. No question asked. Unless... No, unless... The, uh, I played something for... Oh! Oh! No. Yeah, you should have played something. Oh, he can't attack. It's, it's, it's killed. Yeah, look at that. Yeah! Oh, the burning! Oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> he's still. Oh. Oh my goodness. To be honest, the um, patron would probably still have won, but. <laughs> my progress! Oh, my progress. My Hearthstone just kicked me out of the game. <laughs> Said no more. Huh. Too much buff on the. on the frosting. Oh, wait. Oh god. <laughs> he just conceded out of fear. Oh hell. And now we have a zoom mirror. Uh Cetri's got a better starting hand. On the other hand, um Im Gang Boss is really strong that matchup generally. And so is Sea Giant. Sea Giant. This dude. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, so far it seems like a good pick here. I don't see so, what. Jungler into coin uh, for you will get the best play. Yeah. You want to play the Void Walker? Yeah, maybe. You don't want to have any floating mana, so. Or you could play Void Walker and Abyssin. That but... works, but no, that's pale. You just better town, that's it. Hmm. Unfortunately, it goes uh, face rather than the two. Hmm. Oops. Oops. Oh, God. <sighs> oh. That risk is a giant, which is a big deal because the Zodiac has both, has both implosion. Mm -hmm. So, um. We'll know that sea giants will come dancing on the battlefield very soon. The boss of us. You might be afraid of. Uh, you don't really want a juggler to ping the mm, in game boss right now. What can you do? Nah, uh, you have to. You can't yeah. really this kind of thing. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely. Unfortunately, that uh, now uh, Sodia can't play his uh, giant. Mm -hmm. Uh, to lotion or how you call that? Is that to lotion? Is that what? You call it to lotion or or to mm. lotion? To lotion. Mm. Lotion is there. Okay. As opposed to for lotion, which is a uh, really. Uh, Getting four plosion really shows your skill. Like ah. you're so good at son to get four plosions. I see. So I need to ask my cat every time I need to implosion to hit the button, right? Mm. Oh no! Look at that. I like the thread because it prevents um, Zodiac from killing the giants with um. Oh, Peoria. Peoria. Oh wow. Oh. oh yeah. You don't really care about that egg, right? Yeah, that's fine. You kill the eight four. 
you can also think that you traded that Nerubian into that paid for. That would be the yeah. same as exactly. But uh, if you think this way, it uh, means that you run uh, two two body on the two mana cost without any ability. Yeah, that's fine. Like no sub is okay because it trades, but uh, now we'll see the giant coming in. Well, you play giant. Unless Citrus plays BGH or some Shadow Flame shenanigans, oh, I don't really, wait. I don't really see him uh, getting back on board. I ha I see Implosion as a uh, zero mana cost card. Oh. No. It's basically over now. Ah, uh, hold on, I don't see it yet. Okay, I'm on. A lot of displayed, juggler, A to the face, and another free. Well, yeah, there is nothing much you can do about Exactly. Well, you can try to... Yeah, that's only try. Anyways, you can't clear eight eight and uh, five five. So no, it's it's, it's already over. So oh. Satyrus loses first game against yeah. Zodiac Zoo. Um, <laughs> Zodiac still have a mage and a paladin to go against uh, against that zoo. So if it's freeze mage. The freeze mage should be able to win, then we would have um, Secret Parting and Zoo. Match which slightly favored the Zoo. Mm, a bit more than slightly. Yeah. Oh. Um, Cause is in a... Considering the fact that I missed something, what's the score now? It's 2 0 in favor of Satris. Mm -hmm. I don't like him. He has, he has lost. Why show off cards that you have? That's. You, you, he's gonna play against the deck, so. Yeah. I might tell him, oh, I play Gormog, by the way. I mean, you can expect it, but. Yeah, you don't know for sure. Exactly. Or he could be like, okay, now he knows I play Gormog, he might try to play around it. <laughs> yeah, that's also. It's a reason why some people play um, uh, Elemental Destruction in uh, Agro Shaman in tournaments. Yeah. Because if the deck list are known, People might say, okay, might have that, I'm... It's a mind game, basically. Yeah. I can so see it's that, not that stupid, but... I'm not sure that influence of this, this much, if you are showing off. I don't know. You could. Well, yes. Also, you could pink yourself as a mage, but oh. usually you don't do this. It's Tempo Mage against Zoo, so Zoo is favorite here. Yeah. Tempo Mage really needs a good start to, uh, well, basically be able to end Tempo Zoo, which is quite hard. And then, uh, well, um, be at the board over it. It's, if they can, they will win. And uh, Solstice and Apprentice is very good here. Because it, well, basically allows you to, uh, uh, to, to get the Tempo Edge. At least if it survives. So if Patris uh, now wins, so he wins the series, right? He wins Absolutely. The match. All right. Well, those decks actually have pretty good hands, which is given the matchup not the bad thing for the for the tempo mage, but I think Mad Scientist early on is pretty decent. Usually, that Marin is not that good against two. Uh, Counter Spell is actually pretty decent, but. 
um, satisfy me it's in his hand oh wait are some lags for no reason oh that's gonna be a huge turn for Satris here you can basically play Navjuggler, Abusive and uh, potentially as a 75% chance of clearing the board oh wait no 50-50 because he wants to play Abusive before True. <clears throat> still very really good for him I oh, know, 70, uh, 70, yeah, sorry. Hmm. That card is pretty good. The issue is that he should have played the uh, Sorcerer Ram Princess, he would have played both spells too. Just happens what we talked about. They just the Zulok takes over the tempo age or like yeah, and just hits the mage face. That's it. Now it's uh, going to be our what elemental, but it's going to be ignored mm -hmm. by most of the part. So you just play. Oh uh, yeah, you top first. Uh, yeah, you top first. You can play the giant. You yeah. got so much mana. Oh, Juggler knows where to strike though. Obviously. He's been trained. Mm -hmm. hmm. Bolt is actually good. Yeah, Bolt is good. It can take over the... Like, <laughs> Freeze Mage can like... You really rely on a good and stable though. Oh yeah. That's actually not that bad. Yeah. That might uh, show up something new. For zero mana. Why wouldn't you? Wait. I guess that's misplayed. Ah, uh, that might have been, yeah. Yeah, he's not ready for it. He's not that... Uh, and now we're gonna see the Sea Giants come into play. <laughs> yeah. And that is pretty much game over for uh, Tempo Mage at some point. Yeah, he... you play Sea Giant and you trade with your 1-1 one, one into uh, a 3 2 and I... Mortal Coil, right? Yeah, uh, I think so. Um, yeah, you kill the 3-2, I think. Oh, wait. Was... You, could, you could kill for free. Yeah, I think that killing killing it is pretty good because it's uh, really a high target, uh, high priority target in that matchup because you really want it to, to die. Uh, but look what happened now because of it. Like, it's okay. He's gonna play Lucid. Yeah. Now he's gonna play Abyssif first to play around Mirror. See, it's not Mirror. Guess it's either Duplicate or um, Camp Spell. That should be okay. I didn't show what's that. <laughs> Counter spell. That mana worm is absolutely horrible here. Yeah, that just not, doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's yet. a 1 3. I like that trade though. Yeah, that prevents. Now, the giant is gonna come. And. Enjoy it. Yep. <laughs> Another mana worm. That's oh my weird. goodness, just concede. Now we just need to get uh, yeah that uh, wild wind fury. fury from an answer and GG. Well, might play him game boss first then and then so. Yeah, I guess you go for it, just like this. No? Yeah, you go for it for sure. Oh no. Oh, okay. You try. No, I'm fine. No balls. Playing safe. No balls. Oh. No balls. No, that's... Oh, he's All right. Uh, yeah. it's the wrong one, but wind fury, but. Alright. That's what you wanted two turns ago, but mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yep. That's what you know. Uh, and Satris is uh what do you feel a finalist? You want wait final semi finalist. Yeah, semi So let's head to the that semi final. Which will oppose Satris to uh INPG. Thank you. Alright, uh... Oh 
is his opponent? Satris. Alright. We're heading to the final. Let's check the bracket so Let's mm -hmm. see. Absolutely. So, yeah, the, now the other semi final hasn't started yet, so still another quarter going on. Oh my uh, goodness. The, the winner will be facing Mike Phil, which we have seen with the uh, quarter final against Ted Master. So, basically, after that game, I think the Zad game finished really solid. Uh, finishes really early and we can get the other semi, semi else we'll have we might take a break in between mm -hmm. and it works The guy is not enemy yet, surprisingly. Why wouldn't you uh, be wanted? <sighs> I'm not sure I follow you, sorry. Yeah, alright, don't worry. I was wondering why people do not want to add me though. Uh, I think he's not here right now. Alright. That's why. He that, doesn't have any here too. That will be an excuse for him, huh? That could be. I mean, like, you're playing in tournaments and uh, being, uh, having been in that position. Uh, I mean, once I had to wait, like, for more than one hour for my semi final slot. So at some point, you're like, okay, I'm gonna do something else and I might be. Um, I consider myself to be someone who's be, who'd be like, I, I won't do anything that would prevent me from that would uh, how to put it, that would make me late for that for that game. So I'd still be on the lookout for the start of the game. But obviously, if you if you're waiting for one hour, I can understand people for being half like not being reactive in the like it's the second not being ready for that. Yeah, so that doesn't seem like doesn't seem to. Awful. So, uh, by the way, so between so we have the first semi final, uh, we might not get into the sec the other semi final in time. Yeah, so after the semi final, we might take a break for um, well, for the time that will be needed to for that other semi final to finish. Cedrus is making deck by the way. Oh, I guess I might yeah, I better right. do this. Yeah, that's in the rules. That's one the particularity of this tournament that I'm really glad it has switched to um BO5. It's really more interesting, especially with bands. But one thing that you should know about the rules, uh, especially if you're uh, coming here now to see the semi-finals, that while uh, <coughs> you announce your classes before the tournament starts. Uh, you don't you, you don't send decklist so basically you can say I, I'm gonna play warrior but you can change your decklist in between rounds when a round starts you have to have a decklist ready so you can't say okay I'm gonna have three different boy decks ready for the game and depending how it goes I'll take one of the other on the other hand like into um, a lineup you might want to have a uh, page in warrior against another one you might switch to at least warrior for instance which we haven't seen yet so he has a right to change stake like, between rounds you just have to have uh, four decks ready one of each class uh, before the start of his round and iron pg is here so the game should start soon absolutely no, oh, he's playing in a play mode. Yeah, he plays louder, yeah. but... Yeah.
<clears throat> That's an intense game for him, I guess. Uh, I was waiting opponent three rounds, days. So McPhil is going to uh, be uh, in one of the semi-finals, right? Sorry, two seconds. Sorry? Uh, I get no, no, sorry. I didn't hear what you said. I asked uh, McPhil will be in uh, one of the semi-finals, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. He's waiting for... Uh, there was a quarter-final to We have uh, less than 10 minutes delays now, right? Sorry? Uh, we have less than 10 minutes delay now. No, we still have 10. Rest? Okay, my bad. No, you, you, you couldn't know that. Watching us right now, that's why. Finally, they are going to uh, play the game, by the way. I, I'm shocked by that. Are you? What? I said they finally going to play the game and I'm shocked by that. Are you? Oh, okay. Oh, Rogue! Rogue! Nice. Oh, yes! Yay! Uh, finally. Seems oh, boy. That's true. Finally, a skillful deck. Hard mulligan, boss players. Yep. So, just a quick glance at their uh, lineups. Uh, MPG, so we've seen Sanctuary's playing Warrior, Druid, Wall, oh, and Mage. My heart stops. Uh, That's fine. Okay. So, uh, Sanctuary's Warrior is a bit banned. While well, MPG is playing Rogue, Hunter, Druid, and Warlock, but his Druid got bad. Really interesting bands, I guess. Uh, so I'm really happy that we can cast once a rock a rock game. Unfortunately, uh, it's a rock versus freeze mage. So basically, uh, really freeze bad. mage one. Let's go drink coffee. <laughs> like seriously. I think that's a bit hasty, but it still holds some truth. I don't know. I haven't ever seen the matchup uh, like this. 
to, to be honest, like, uh, Fizzman's channel is not that great right now. Even well, he has the Arcan Intellect in turn 2. Yeah, but, like, Doomsayer isn't uh, that strong because of Sap. Uh, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't say it's a rogue. That's just... Uh... As lost for now, because there can actually be some decent plays. Same. Yeah. Huh. Alistar, I mean, he just doesn't really know what kind of mage he's going against. Yeah. You he doesn't be know yet. He needs to tempo mage and be like, okay, I'm gonna just make it and play here. Let's see what happens. Because if you play, for example, if you're playing against tempo mage and you kill um, <clears throat> a mass scientist with your SI7 or a battle cry, mm -hmm. your opponent gets a 3 3. Because the battle cry takes place first, then the creature dies, yes. this shall happens, and then the minion gets on board, meaning it will trigger a Meyer entity. So that's also really important. You might play a sign here, just to as a tempo play. Yeah, you you also might coin uh, then uh, eviscerate, eviscerate and then play Advin. Just cause you can. Maybe. My goodness, he has second Arcan Intellect and first ten cards. That's huge. It's gonna keep on the uh, review for the three five. Is actually well, actually, if he trades, he will burn one card out of his opponent. What? Three. No, his opponent has eight cards in Oh, yeah, eight. I count as nine. My bad. Nova is actually a decent pick for the mage because he can now Nova himself, but it's not that strong against Rogue, especially as we said because of Sap. And actually, Sap doesn't have. A... Oh, he's gonna Sap now. That's risky. Obviously, knowing the main challenge, it's a um, high risk play. Mm. So, well, we could think it's a bad play doing that, but. I his perspective like... is very good, right? I kind of like it, but he's gonna get punished. Maybe. I'm not too. I played Roll the Rock, but. Uh, quite a long time ago now. The issue is that you might want to keep that sap for Doomsayer and it's gonna get punished for that. As, uh, it can kill the Doomsayer, but he would have to spend both oil and blade fury for it. Oh, backs. And uh, backstab is actually. Oh, backstab is good. <laughs> backstab is a really good topic here. It allows him to uh, deal with that Doomsayer rather easily. Mm -hmm. Wait, my heart's on it. Shows me slideshow. Okay. Do you want to see slideshow? <laughs> I don't think so. Alright. So, quite a good board for the, for the rogue. Yeah, but. Uh, sadly, for the mage, he doesn't have. He, he yeah. drew a lot of boons and. And Alex Strauss, so the, the game will be won by him. It would be one. Absolutely, but he has to draw it. It's still a one. And he still has 15 cards in stake, so. Isn't I he think... already has that extraza? He has it. I don't see it. I see oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah. It's um, again, it's back to Spectrum Red, right? which well, basically make so, some display back. And, yeah, so. And uh, huh? he also has uh, that uh, ice, bar, uh, ice block, sorry. Yeah. So basically, so he's gonna play next. Then Alex into his next turn and win. Yeah. Basically, it means that uh, Mage yeah. has won already. No point. Most likely. Well, uh, I might be, as you say, hasty because uh, Rogue hasn't uh, draw any of uh, uh, hills. He played that Farseer, but Farseer wouldn't save him anyway. 
but uh, is he running uh, hillbots? That's the question, and uh, if he runs, he needs to draw them now. He's running false servers, um, Razor Hatch, he's not running hillbots. Might run double check instead. Mm, maybe, but in this particular matchup, he needs that hillbot. We don't even save him because uh, the mage has frostbolts and double Icelands. Which is. Oh. Which wait, is 11. Uh, yeah. Now it's even. Now it's 11 damage. Uh, okay, maybe. But still unlike the rock. Really. He also has that tallness in hand. So, mm -hmm. count it. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, so it's 14 damage and Pyroblast the time after. Of and meanwhile, the rock still has to deal with that extra. Though. You can sap it though. <laughs> Why not? He doesn't have any yet. What to do here? That's pretty tricky situation. Uh, I think you, you might want to use wait. your oil now. Wait, you wait, wait. Uh, he wins the game uh, if uh, Rogue does not heal on turn uh, nine. nine yes or he can survive by playing Lotop but it's only one turn survival yeah Lotop would be a great pickup I should that the rogue oh. doesn't necessarily want his ball to be filled why are you talking about pickup if uh, oh, sorry. Lotop uh, uh, had... okay no I got a <laughs> I got a spectator bug again uh, that's should... really annoying I'm really sorry for you guys you should say that because I'm. Uh, yeah, okay. but I've just noticed that. Yeah. Okay, 20 HP. Yeah, on extra Razor seems like a good play. Mm -hmm. You don't expect to be pop next turn. It's possible, but you're fine with that. Actually, he will be popped. Oh, yeah. I believe. Uh, depends on the. Uh, because they all could pop on a 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. That's thus, also right. And also the rogue still has to kill. Uh, uh, well, uh, he just need to survive that turn after lot up. That's it. And he won the game if uh, rogue does not heal. Lose it is a pretty strong play. Uh, lot up is a play, absolutely. Uh, maybe actually... Wait a minute. You want to pop some mage now, so you need. Yeah. You, you got nine damage, ten damage bolts with the weapon. Yeah, actually, you don't play loss of system. Oh, if you don't play, you you lost. Yeah, maybe, you, but you that's the risk. That's the risk you have to take. That's not the risk you just lost, already. Yeah, but that's the risk he has to take because yeah. um, if you don't pop the freeze mage at that point, you will lose. Either way, so. And how are you supposed to pop it? It's one off. Play for it. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, I get it. It's plus one spell damage. Oh, yeah, no, but yeah. Yeah. So he popped and he lost. So you play yeah, Tallness, that's... you pin, can you just uh, spell off from yeah. your hand? That was the winning, the winning play. Like, if you didn't pop him, you were far like far more likely to lose. And so, yeah, I, I, I like that choice of not playing them. So. Wait, what? Do they do they still have to play some games, right? Yeah, that was the first one. Oh yeah, I just quit casting. That's fine. I was so disappointed. <laughs> yeah, well, Rob wasn't. Rob was playing a really bad match. Really yeah. Kind of and no heal top deck. Yeah, uh, implying he plays one because that seems to like. 
if he plays false here, it probably doesn't play heal it. Oh, so now we have Hunter. Uh, should be face hunter, even Zabs if it's face hunter, probably. Or hybrid at least. Yeah, keeping Zabs if. Uh, double Zabs if then that great. Especially since there's a. That's a really good time of starting hand for Druid in that matchup. Yeah. You can just play Living Roots here. Or. You can coin hero power, but I think Living Rose is stronger. Ah. Really, given your starting hand, it's really <laughs> strong. Because next time you can innovate Keeper to deal with Scientist or uh, Juggler. Yes. Now, I'm guessing uh, RNPG here will play Scientist. Yeah. Your face. It's like to play it. Now Keeper is gonna be innovated. Silence. I see you're very experienced uh, in Golden Hunters, right? Uh, <laughs> actually, I'm not very experienced in Golden Hunters. No. That's, that seems an obvious play here. Yes. I love that. So. Oh, you. The Hunter could to, to try Hail Mary, like playing the Juggler, hope. I guess and you have to. Sergeants and hopes uh, juggle hits a 1 1. Yeah. That would be insanely good for him. But the issue is that. Oh, that's good for him. Oh, God. But as but we can see here, there's a. <laughs> a living uh, double of us. Yeah. yeah. I guess music's too loud. Maybe I can do something to it. Uh, the issue with, this con with that one here is that he doesn't have anything to play next turn. Offer could really punish that play. Mm -hmm. Offer oh. will, will be a nightmare. Oh wow! Well. But he decided not to. That's interesting. Yeah, he's playing mana efficiently, but that's a bit sad, I think. Yeah, he's playing probably around swipe or something like that. But... Okay. No, oh, he says a mistake, but. We can clearly see that there is no play in his hand. Yep. And here, a power turn 4 for Druid is a nightmare, yeah, first, basically. Yeah. Offer is really good here, given the Druid send. Yeah. And actually, you know, I still win now. 8 damage per turn. No, that so. Harrison for now is <laughs> really useless. But. Oh god. The second turn. Oh, this turn will be huge. It will bring, like. 13 damage plus guarantee 2 damage from Lepagno. Yeah, unless you get silenced. Well, it's okay because that means the Druid is slowing down. Yeah, but, but yeah, I think you go. F I mean, you're still scared of swipe because you could swipe face and just. Yeah. But I think that putting him to, uh, as I said, like but putting a so, so much damage in his face. I'm not sure that that make you, makes you trade him. No, no. You're putting your 7, you do it. Sure. I mean, if you swipe, still at 4, you might throw power, but. <laughs> I think the Druid here is gonna. Uh, it's going to uh, Force of Nature. But more, yeah, that's the best play. Def defensive for Force of Nature? Basically, you use the boards, but you're still at 4 HP. Well, yeah. So you're yeah. basically dead. Yeah. Well, the hunter will be one of Lethal. But. Well, basically. And, it, and the hunter will have a trap on board. <laughs> That's really annoying. So, the druids can only hope now for. Uh, for uh, uh, surviving. No Lethal next turn plus. Uh, okay, that's well, Lethal. He needs lower. Alright. Yeah, but that's Lethal. That's already over. So, on one? Uh, it's... Yeah. Absolutely. Quick win for Hunter, since seven Lethal, quite standard. So we still have the Drift for Satris, uh, against Rogue. And let's see. It's a tight matchup. It uh, isn't beyond him, unfortunately. Yeah, well. 
Cypress still have Druid and Warlock, why are NPG still has Rogue and Warlock? Uh, we don't necessarily know what the Warlock are. Um, if they are those two, say NPG is, might want to play Zoo first. Alright. I'm uh, not sure though. Yeah, he's playing his Zoo first. Unless, yeah. Unless it's Renals and he's. Okay, that's Zoo. That's pretty good for him. It's a decent start. Uh, the druid has a. Okay, he got to innovate, so it's not too bad. But... He keeps the egg, that's interesting. Yeah. Maybe he's uh, willing uh, to draw something uh, to open this egg from Dark Peddler. Yeah, maybe. Let's see how it So, what will you play here? 1 3 or 1 1? I would go with 1 1. Yeah, I would play the 1 3. Wow. Because of living, living room. Ah. Because of living roots, like if it's if it's rounds your one three, you're fine. Like whatever. The one one is just too vulnerable. That just yeah. If the war, uh, if the truth hasn't anything to play, it just zero power and yeah. You can go some interesting here. I guess you can play it. I'm yeah, it's, it's gonna get punished by uh, in the plates. Truth of the mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. So I think we'll see a peddler. Now he needs the PO. Oh. Yeah, the issue is that PO will still kill you in game boss. And there's no PO. Chow is actually okay. Um... Yeah, I'd pick Chow. How is it okay? Well, I know that's the best. It's just three. He has a talent. He's at twenty nine HP. Yeah. Why would you pick one two? Well, he afraid of Murloc, so. Basically. Yeah, mate. I like the trade. Yeah, because of the swipe. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I think Shredder here is the best play. He might be a bit scared of. Uh, of abusive uh, enabling the peddler to trade into your bear, but it's okay. You, sh you still trade because of uh, pure. Especially since uh, Shredder is very good at trading in the old but late. Yep. And now he regrets that he has no egg on the board. Yeah. But playing egg would have. wouldn't have. Um, wouldn't have been the best play. Yeah, absolutely. But now it would pay off. I guess you top here, no? No. Oh, absolutely not. You want to to pour your cards on the board. Like if you start playing control issue, you're gonna lose. For sure. But you can draw two one. Oh, abusive surgeon. <laughs> yeah, but you could. But you only have uh, two chances of twenty-two, so one in eleven to draw it. It's not worth the risk. Uh, the order here is bad because you should play pedal first. Oh god. Disgusting bird. So maybe if a Moloch appears out of the Shredder, Hungry Crab might be the play, but I will still would have picked Chow. Yeah, the Hungry Crab is just useless. Oh, Pure is gonna get some value here. Sure. Absolutely, so you can uh, finally pop the egg. But popping the egg is not the best option versus the swipe. Yeah, it, yeah but the thing is that uh, egg isn't that good against Druid in a. Uh, because yeah, cause you, you like egg. It. You can silence it, and also because egg is really good, for example, against uh, control decks. Because if there is. Like, you can warrior if he brawls, your egg is really good. Because yeah. since he's gonna get to get the fourth part of it, Druid will never kill an egg. So, oh, he could trade with a hunted creeper and just. Okay, he can do that too. Um... Oh god. Oh boy, look at that. Yeah, that's really strong. Is he popping the egg or something? No, oh, okay. I don't need to. 
Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. listen. You wanted it, I'll you, but... Oh god. Ah, uh, Gronox. Useless card. I guess you can see it. Not yet. Like, this truth only has two cards in his hand, so... Obviously, you're in a bad shape, but... Imagine those two cards are really bad cards like this, so while you wrote... Imagine the truth that has two wild draws in his hand. Well, he's yeah. actually in a good shape. Obviously, these are two rounds. Now, he really wishes that the uh, crap would be a zombie. Yeah. And now he can draw for and deal damage for two. Oh. Ras is pretty. Uh, Roar is pretty good here. Oh, uh, imagine he would draw uh, inner weight. That would be. That would be so yeah. huge. I mean, good. But she got the combo. It's gonna. Oh, okay. But uh, he's actually one mana off. Combo in. I wouldn't go in for the Drake. Just because you have to take every Oh no. Yeah. So he lost. That's it. Uh, well, it's not least yet, but yeah, he lost. But no, it's like uh, 10 damage. Oh, 11 damage. And next turn you can just roar and kill him. Out. Yeah, he has, he's gonna play Ras and Thorison for sure. Well, yeah, but maybe not for Ras actually. You, you can keep it for uh, potential Argus. But yeah, Judas won. Argus would have been decent because it provided some value, but. Not but, good enough. No, uh, no, it's just everything is pointless. Yeah. That's a good job. Jugger. That's... Jugger. <laughs> okay. Now he can on the dream of uh, Druid having no combo, but he is and uh, he is going to unleash it. Druid only needed one part of the combo to win. Yeah. Also right. So that's two one for Satris. Satris only needs now to win with his warlock against uh Warlock and Rogue, so it's not like he hasn't won yet. Because in a zoom mirror, well, it's gonna be really dependent on both. And against Rogue? Oh. Really depend again. Again, it's really draw dependent. Like if it's a wall against, like he has a backstab and deadly poison, he can easily win. Uh, it's gonna be tough either way. I mean, he's favored because he has he doesn't have any bad matchup ahead of him. Well, he's not so going let, to do. Let's see. On yeah. will it all be able to win this game at least? Yeah, SI without coin isn't that interesting. The rogue might be. Oh, might want. He keeps everything. Oh, he keeps everything. Okay, interesting. I mean. All those cards aren't bad, but. They are all a bit situational, like, fan is only good against yeah. one one. Might not see that. Yeah, Tio is a pretty good pickup. Like for example, for instance, if the rope picks up a backstab, it's gonna be huge. Why is he didn't he attack here? Uh, he has no poison. Well, why not? Oh god, there's Corsair. You just pick Corsair <laughs> and run yeah. away. Yeah, for sure. Corsair is just good enough in that match. Yeah, fan of that. You might have to play one. Yeah. Cycle. Yep. And then, uh, well, basically trading with weapon and trading uh, and letting uh, the two it use just the same thing so you don't waste your weapon. Ah, oh, you do it. You do? You don't want to like place second uh, fan on next turn? You don't know what you'll draw next time. That's actually good for the rogue because it's a really slow way. Well, he need. Uh, he would wish to have. Uh, 
Uh, I think uh, here you just play tempo aside. Preparation, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do. But do you mind to... You're still... Yeah, you're actually afraid of uh, PO, but I think you still play. Oh, it would be nice if uh, he would have one more mana to just sub the deck. Yeah. So I think here we'll see a uh, P... Uh, yeah, okay. in it. Oh, we, we could actually see Implosion. Alright, you've seen one fan of now, if you might be... Okay, I'm gonna Implosion here, I'm safer. That seems like a good play. Because if we play uh, Pio and uh, Under Creepers, that's less mana efficient. Yeah. Oh, only... Oh Did my go. goodness, that's sad. So, sure. here you fan of life, I think. Uh, and then so you... Just draw and Ah, oh, you could kill the egg. Yeah. And the uh, Rubian. I would love it. Actually, be a play. Yeah. I'd like it. I think uh, I think I like this play the most. You're playing rogue. You want some tempo? Okay. Oh it's no. Not it. No no. Oh boy. Uh, well, anyways, that's the same thing. But uh, next turn he'll just do the same. So next turn now egg is popped and he'll ev eviscerate it. Making uh, Verloc wasting uh, Argus on it. Yeah. So actually, that's a good thing. I he, think he... he also get got free damage phase. Yeah, but so you what well, like what you can be afraid of knife juggler and uh, yeah, for some, sure. something like Argus. Argus with a one drop. But that's fine. Argus with one drop is fine, because you deny half of the value of that Argus. Oh. And oh. one drop, like, what one drop can he play? Just like 3 2, which you. Can or 1 get. 3 or uh, Argent Squire. Well, Love. Argent Squire isn't that great. Well, no. that just becomes uh, like 3 2 or 4 3, right? Which you can so easily like uh, kill with your cards. I don't know. Yeah, but that's the full phone's the ball too. Yeah. I oh. mean, you got this. Yeah. Basically, that egg isn't popped yet for whatever reasons. And, uh. Where do you. Alright, face. And one more face, right? That one. Find so it. now we're gonna see. With you. Uh, I guess uh, Rogue expects now draw the poison, so that's why he just uh, attacked with Dagger, so he can poison, attack somewhere, and then uh, okay. blade flurry. You might also want to pressure the Warlock into uh, playing defensive, which is pretty good for him. Just the psychological moment, you mean? Um, yeah. Okay. It's actually decent because um, again uh, here Oilrock is more of the control deck, so he has to play rather defensively. Okay. Creep, second creeper. Okay, the, there you go. Egg is popping. Like. No, is it? No, it's not popping yet, but it will. All right, that's it's oil. That's good for Inkutsons. Alright, you can final sub egg. But that's yeah. your last sub, right? Yep. Uh, uh, you'd have no answer to the giants. You could sort of like sub Evis Edwin. Could be yeah, a play. But uh, he's going for it. Kind of like it. That's okay. Uh, uh, yeah, as you say. He's really trying to pressure the log. Zero count. It's do, actually. Do you face? Big. Yeah, you go face. Yeah, absolutely. You, you really want to. But in this case, him. in this case, PO just ru ruins you up. Kind of, yeah. But you haven't seen a PO in. A, I, you could have expected a PO earlier, so you might not want to play around it. Obviously, you can help punish for it, but. Like, oh yeah. He just misplayed with that positioning. Oh, one of one man off doing a huge turn. Mm. Yeah, I think he has a Drake. Yes, you yeah. lost already then. No, 
Nah, no, nothing. Yes. Twelve. You haven't lost yet. Later, that the announcer is gonna provide us a, a, a crucial. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't like that. At least the good thing is that he isn't uh, keeping the weapon charged. No. Yeah, but that's a defensive play right now, and he... Oh, I think, given, he, given how he played recently, he should have played uh, more offensively. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. oh no! That is huge. That, that's damage out of nowhere. Yeah, that's, that's a win for the lock. And thus, it's a win for Satris, who will be in the next final, in the final month. Oh. It was the semi-final. He'll be in the final now. Oh, I mean, uh, what's the score? He won? It's 3-1, yeah. Okay. As far, uh, as, far as I remember now. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, no, it's 3-1, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, he has one of his three spades and three. Against the wall, uh, Zulog, then uh, with his uh, Zulog himself. So, yeah, that's really one for Satris. Alright. He already won the tournament like one month ago. He's might be on the step of winning, winning it again. Alright. So, I guess we will take a quick break now. Yep. Uh, we put our stream off until the final. So, it will be back probably in uh, how Let's much see. time? Estimate. Oh, sorry. sorry, I'm just gonna check it. I'll just check where uh, yeah. the whereabouts of the other semi final quickly. Okay, uh, so it's looks like it's uh, more or less 1 1 uh, according to the brackets. Okay. Uh, so basically, and it's, two more games. It's soon gonna be over. Yeah. Like oh, just the next shaman. Yeah. Guys, we will come back maybe in uh, next uh, fifteen minutes probably. No, yeah. Not fifteen. Not fifteen. Fifteen minutes seems quite reasonable. I think. Well, after fifteen minutes, the game will be played. Uh, I'm already considering their delay. You know what? Yeah. So sure that's, that's it. So guys, stick by, stand by, and uh, we will come back, but for now, stream will be off for a little while, and uh, we'll be on as soon as tournament uh, will begin, so don't really go anywhere, and uh, hopefully to, <laughs> I hope to see you all in chat uh, back on our finals, so, be on. Do you have any last words this I don't think the final can be really interesting seeing how this the other semi-final is going. Alright. Just nope. a little teaser. That's great. Absolutely. <laughs> so, See you in uh in ten minutes or fifteen. Or something, yeah. Right then, bye.